Alrighty here. Hello and welcome. My name's Kevin. This is Do It For Bruce. We're here in CK3, even though this is Victoria 3. God, someday I'll get that down. <laughs> it's Halloween. We're dressed up as Waldo or Willy if you're in the British uh, nation. Uh, today we're continuing our campaign of being Grand Columbia uh, and we're trying to go for the achievement of Grander Columbia, which is essentially we have to then take over more land. Uh, right now, we need to control the Grand Colombian Strategic Region, uh, own all the Andes Strategic Region, and all, all La, La Plata uh, Strategic Region, which is, I'll show you right here, um, the Strategic Region. So essentially, we're going to have some hills to climb. Uh, we need to take out our ally, uh, and we need to take Chile, Argentina, Paraguay. Um, unfortunately, the biggest issue for now is that we're going to have to fight the British the Dutch and the French at some point, um, which is going to be tough. So let's let's get to it uh, right away by doing some of this stuff. Um, we don't have where's Waldo equivalent in Germany. Sad life. Uh, you know, that's fine. It's just a nice buy game book that I, as a child, I really enjoyed. Uh, so, and we also. My girlfriend worked at a company, uh, an events company, that had uh, a bunch of the costumes le left over. So we technically own 12 of these costumes, uh, which is kind of lit. <laughs> so that's that's uh, that's why we have a glut of this um, one costume. She is currently also wearing one uh, at her desk job, uh, which is funny. So we're both wearing Where's Waldo outfits uh, for today. So, let us see. How hard would it be to make one of our, uh, make domain over the Chileans? Uh, looks like the British, the Argentinian, the Paraguayans, all that. Peru would join us. Um, let's see if, uh, we could keep the British from joining our, uh, against us. They are in a defensive pact with us, so I would assume that that was chill enough for them to not um, want to uh, attack us. Hola Jose, como estas? Um, we're back at it, doing our Chilean, uh, our Chilean, our Grand Columbia expansionism idea. Uh, let's see, okay. So let's go ahead and mobilize some of our troops, send them to this front. Uh, we'll see how well this goes for us. I, ha I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty easy steamroll. Um, my hope, my only hope is that the, the British just don't join. That would be the most uh, important part. Because if they do join against us, which I doubt they would be, um, they pretty much would steamroll us. We would not be able to fight them. Uh, we're not on, on par with them just yet. Um uh, Beats, you asked uh, what government or who's in power in our government. It's a weird conglomeration of people. We have the industrialists, the intelligentsias, the rural folk, the armed forces, and the trade unionists all together at once having a hunky dory thing. Just stop by to keep up the stream as the videos look like you do. You are doing really great. I'm a silent viewer, but I really enjoy your content. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying the content. We're out here trying to, you know, bring some some entertainment to your lives, even if it's just silly me playing some uh, strategic grand strategy games. Um, so this this war should be easy, I think. Uh, as long as, like I said, the British, I think, are going to stay on the sidelines. Surprised the Brazilians don't want a piece of this action. Um, especially because they seem to... I'm about to take over the southern half of the, the lands. Um, our wealth adder tax just got done, which is good. Now we can uh, get our next law going. I think we were going to do regulatory bodies, even if it's going to piss off some of our um, people. It's just going to give people more uh, dangerous work conditions is reduced. <laughs> and oh yeah versus beyond adorable you know he is um 
before owning Bruce, I didn't, I'd never owned a cat, and I really didn't get the uh, whole uh, um, appeal of them. Like, I had had dogs in the past, but when I got Bruce, the first, like, two months, I was, like, very much, like, this is... I understand now why I have, why people own pets, and then ever since then, my love for him has just grown and grown, just because he's... He's just a he's just a furry animal that you have in your house and you get to hang out with him and sometimes he's really cute and sometimes he's very vicious. But you know, that's that's cats for you. And he's also very cute. Let me see if I can go grab him real quick. Couldn't find him. Couldn't find him. He was, uh, he's gone. He's, he's hidden, hidden himself somewhere in our house. Um, which is tough. How's this battle going or this front going? It's going to go poorly for them, especially because I don't think their units are very strong from what I can remember. Um, let's go to Santiago. They should have a better understander of that. Did Chile also change their flag? Their flag didn't know it used to be this way. Right? What are you wearing? <laughs> Master Yoda, Mikel. <laughs> There's this thing, it's called Where's Waldo? Um, it's essentially a children's book that is uh, like an I Spy, where you have to, the goal of it is that you are presented an image with a bunch of different like there's a lot going on like one of them is like a gladiatorial game and you have to find a dude who looks like this uh it's called where's willy i think in um uh uh britain but in the united states it's called uh where's waldo so it's it's a little goofy for sure and i'm wearing a costume because it's halloween i don't know europe i don't know what europe's uh point uh, or what's their take on uh halloween and all that but i imagine it's probably not as uh, explosive as our um use of it uh last episode we got the panama canal i'm kind of like i like the idea that we have this but like it's kind of annoying that we only get really uh prestige from it there's no taxes or anything like that that's i think that's kind of a missed opportunity on their um on their idea because like okay sweet i get uh plus 100 prestige what about all the like levies that should be coming through all the tax and all that stuff coming through the canal should should go to me i think i deserve money that's what i'm trying to say more money for my all my efforts of building the canal uh In Thai, it's called Boldo. Boldo. I've had two trick or treaters as of yet. Boldo. What an interesting. It's funny because, like, I up until I, like, a couple years ago, I assumed everybody just called it Where's Waldo, but it's actually it's an English, like, a British book series, children's book series, and then first, so Where's Willie, and then Where's Boldo, or Donde. I don't know Italian, so don't miss that Baldo. This German, I really love Halloween. It's that kind of festive that you can hang out with your friends to it not being a familial fest festive. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a good time. Um, we're losing our rank? Oh, no. Wait, no, we're fine. We're, uh, we've been promoted, actually. We're now a major power. Um which we're slowly moving into great powerhood sooner rather than later. Uh, we've just passed China somehow, uh, maybe because of our political strength, or our, um, not political strength, of our military strength, we're able to do that. So that's why we're doing so well there. Um, can we probably do some more, let's get some more troops. Uh, just a couple more conscripts here and there. And then let us see where is our Navy. 
I, in the during the break, I did some updates to the uh, our nation. I wanted to get us a little more urbanized, a little more up to date. Our population. I looked at our our thing, and it looks like we're still mostly peasants. So I started putting plopping down a bunch of uh, universities to help make people more uh, educated and more qualified. So then there's more urbanization, and then it changes people's. Uh, from laborers to something else, maybe capitalist or shop owners, you know, just moving, moving the chains a little bit for all of our uh, people to increase their quality of life, which is now starting to get better. We're at 12.6. There's certain parts of the our country that are more or less better. The U.S. looks like they're just having a good time. Everybody's quality of life in the U.S. is pretty high. I imagine that Africa has the poorest quality of life. Oof. Oof. That's tough. Um, what about um, GDP? We're getting closer. The British and the, the British seem to always have the best, obviously. Um, so Navy, where where are you? Can I call you up? Um, so I can recruit you and make you uh, sure. What can I do with my Navy? I've never actually used a Navy. Um, Raid convoys, patrol coast, escort. Um, can I send them to uh, assault things? Naval invasion? Can we do a naval invasion of like the south here? Los Rios or something? South here. I've never done a naval invasion, so let's see how effective this is. I think our allies have this border pretty much controlled, so there's no need to worry about that. There's much more of a delay today. Any ideas why? Um, I have no clue. But, uh... Darnell, have a good one. Glad to see uh, you today. I think probably to do with... Um, latency also my girlfriend's here and today so maybe there's a uh just i might have also not clicked lower latency on uh the youtube video because it's weird because we're you for all you who don't know we're using restream right now so we're on twitch live on twitch and uh youtube at the same time so that those two are running at the same time and uh it Sometimes the delay on Twitch is quicker than the one on YouTube. Um, <laughs> Investor approval can go down a little bit. I really want to see how. How does this naval invasion work? I need like more information. Preparing further forces. Eight days, seven days. So are we gonna see like a little? Is it gonna be like Hoy, where we're just gonna see them pop up right here and then they just? start um, moving in and they're gonna have to send defenders or something like that we'll see we'll see how this works in the future can maybe attack Mexico uh, right now we're just trying to consolidate pretty much South America we'll see how effective that goes um, looks like our forces are getting absolutely destroyed does that mean all of our troops are gonna die because oh man they have actual ironclads and stuff like that um, okay so it looks like our forces got destroyed. Our Navy absolutely destroyed, um, which goes to show you we just need to update our Navy uh, a little bit um, in the future, especially when we fight fight against the British and stuff like that, because they probably have real a real Navy, I would imagine. Um, if you go to like this one, we can see what their naval class is. No, they still actually have whatever these like catamarans or what are they called man of wars instead of the santiago or the chileans for some reason they're like up on their tech and they have like real ships yeah they have uh what is this ironsides uh or no they're probably called something better um ironclad ironclad yes the ironclads um how have we not broken into their lands yet Probably because it's easy to defend these lands up here because it's mountainous and all that. 
Uh, speaking of mountainous, where is our backup troops that we are, um, all these troops? These 16 troops should be mobilized now, right? Mobilization, 97%. Hmm. Interesting. Decent amount of casualties on our side for this. I assume this was going to be an easy fight too because we would, we have at least more uh, troops. Uh, we have more troops and we have better troops from what I can see because they have regular. Uh, maybe it's because of our allies troops are not that good and they're doing a lot of the fighting. Possibly. I don't know. Uh, we're making money, so we should probably invest it into some construction stuff. Um, let us build another administrative building uh, while we fight this war to whatever ends. Ah. Are all 64 troops... I don't understand how the all 64 troops aren't, like flying across this border. Like, finally, we're getting some headway. Feels like we should have been able to beat them back pretty easily with how much we have uh, troop-wise. Uh, um, but now we know. It's better to have a bunch of... Uh, a naval invasion is kind of important for next time. Maybe when we get... We'll have a real navy for the Argentinian invasion or the Peruvian invasion that's we're going to do. Um, yeah. I feel bad for we're forcing Peru to help us in this, in this war. And then uh, in no uncertain terms, we're going to then attack them and destroy them. Um, lots of Argentinian or er, Chilean victories, but their morale is going down. Um, the war support is... Slowly decreasing. Ours is still pretty high. Uh, what is the reason? From base decay, from occupied, from because the enemy controls 100% of the war goal. What an interesting thing. I don't know how real this game is, but it makes the sense you lose the naval war because Chile always had the best navy in South America. Uh, it also helps that I didn't really have a, uh, a navy. Um... I feel like this game is realistic in some sense. Obviously, they missed, they've missed they missed a lot of opportunities um, in making a little more events be true. Like the Panama Canal is kind of one of the glaring examples of them not being as good as the, it could be. It only provides uh, prestige and not like I can tax people going through this. Uh, these two idiots want to fight each other, so let's let them fight each other. Um, battalions in reserve. Let's see if we can recruit a general uh, and use that general then to uh, bring them down to mobilize down here. Go ahead and advance this one. So then we'll see how um, how much they want this. Um, Peace deals in this game is going to be is so interesting now. Comparatively, we do we can if there's more than one or two belligerents, they can get out at any point. Where it's like CK3, uh, you're kind of stuck in the war until your ally gives up or takes um, uh, or wins. Uh, because like in that's the similar in EU4 where you can just get out of a war if you're tired of <laughs> helping your ally. And you're like, we've been in this war for 30 years. I don't want to be in the war any more time than I need to be. Um, we're starting to gain some troop, some numbers here. I think that's good. Uh, we also finished our building. We're starting to hemorrhage a little bit more money. Uh, let's see. Can we fix some of our uh, money's issues? I think if we change this back down, how mad are the... 
How mad are the armed forces if I change that? They're not mad at all. Okay, good. So that saves us a couple dollars here and there. Which is what we need to do. And then after that, the Chileans should really start losing pretty hair. Pretty terribly. The war support is going bad for them, um, which I'm really, really curious. Like I know the modifiers are saying from exhaustion because they are 12% occupied. I guess Chile is not a very large area, so that makes sense. But now we're starting to push into the Atacama Desert. I've been to Chile before, but I've only really been to Santiago and uh, Concept or not sorry, uh, Valparaiso, um, and some parts in the south. Uh, but I've never been to the northern parts, which is traditionally just a desert. Um, but there's a pretty cool salt area, like salt water area, um, salt flats, kind of similar to Salt Lake City in the United States. Uh, oh no, we've totally crushed their defense. We're gonna take this easily. No, no ifs, ands, or buts now. Yeah, just absolutely crushing there. I think we should be able to get our steel. Yep. And now Chile is a part of us. Um, are they? So what is our relationship diplomatically? Um, so as a dominion, what does that mean? Can we like go ahead and annex them? Uh, expel diplomats, declare. Okay, we're gonna probably have to look this one up. Recognized power may turn a weaker country into a dominion. A dominion is more autonomous subject. The types are able to start their own diplomatic plays and are forced to join. Over they must pay 10% of the treasury to their overlord. So can I ever annex them or are they like kind of stuck um, as a dominion forever? Also, how does this affect? We'll see how this affects the achievement. I imagine it, it's not going to help us that much. Um, Granting independence is not what we want. I wonder after a certain period of time, can we annex them? Or do, do we have to like make a play for that? Like Truce into them has a defensive pack with, oh, okay. Hmm. We'll see. All right. Um, with that war over, do you think we can quickly do another war without anybody realizing what we've done? We'll see. Chile is basically a mountain. It's really difficult to annex. Uh, yeah. Well, it's because it's the Andes. The Los Andes just coming in and doing their, uh, their best. Um, all right. Let's see if we can make another diplomatic way. Um... Pretty much have an interest over here. Let's say Mexico is part of our interest, even though it's not really. Um, regime change. Um, conquering states. Make a puppet. What does a puppet do versus... Can you annex a puppet? May turn a weaker country into a puppet. Puppet is a subject that cannot start their own force to join a royal puppet rank can increase. Overlord target them with an annex diplomat. Okay, so we should have puppeted Chile instead of uh, made him a dominion. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. That war is over. Let's see if we can. What happens if I said made a puppet out of the Chileans? They say we have a cordial relationship with them. Um, let's go ahead and start making that a worse relationship so that we can actually do that. Um, we should also get more administrative stuff because we need that. Um, yeah, 
we need more administrative flow here. This, this, um, probably a government administrative here. Um, explosive shells, sure. Let's start making some explosive shells. Um, I'm starting to, I feel like I'm starting to actually understand this game a lot, lot better. Um, which is surprisingly, it's taking time. What market is Chile in? That's a good question. Uh, let's go to markets. They should be probably in ours. The, they should be a part of the British, yeah, because we're their overlords, so maybe not. Yeah. Should be in the British. Um, Honduras wants a defensive back. I'm not interested. How hard would it be to fight the Dutch, too? Let's see there. Um, their nation. Um, they have about 40 troops. They have a ton of ships. But uh, do they have any allies that would cost us? Um, they have two defensive packs. One with Sambas and the other one with Italy. How strong is Italy? The Italians are really strong. <laughs> so we'd probably need a, a British alliance. Um, if we could even do that, I doubt they would uh, probably want that. Hmm. Our relationship with the... Uh, theirs relationship is not great. That's okay. Our relationship with everybody else is pretty good. What do the French think? They're wary of us? Yeah, that makes sense. We just did take over Chile, so that should make that everybody a little bit wary of our actions. Um, that makes me want to know, can you annexing... Ah, sweet. We can now do, uh, we get more authority uh, to offset some of the authority issues we're having right now. Um, let's go this one. Let's see. Let's see what Reddit says about this really quick. Okay, so we should have puppeted them. Unfortunately, that's what it's saying right now. Um, 10 out of 10 cosplay of Waldo. <laughs> Thanks, Blue. Um, you should try and invade shitty Central American nations for free real estate. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the free real estate is in control of one power or another, it feels like. Um, but we probably could take uh, Nicaragua or... Um, this kingdom? I think they're a British puppet, yeah. Um, Honduras, we could probably go for San, uh, El Salvador, uh, Guatemala, we can also do that. Mexico, we could get some free real estate that way, too. Um, I think the hardest thing today is going to be the British, the Dutch, the French. The, these, these three nations are going to be, uh, the hardest to deal with. My hope is that we can just, uh easily move past those things and um once we take all this land that we can just easily snap up the dutch and the french i don't know the british is going to be the hardest especially because economically we're we're tied in with them and that's uh that's not great but it is um it is a uh it is a hurdle we will overcome should have been worsening our relationship with them um we can expel our diplomats. That should that should help us um, make a puppet. Who would join? The French would possibly join. I can't have the French joining us. That would be or joining against us. That would be bad. Um, what do the French think of us? They're wary. 
Can we go ahead and improve with them? Um, let's stop this. Can go ahead and improve maybe both of them. Begin improving with them, maybe a little bit. Um, and do some more tech. Uh, let's do this. Who's this guy? He's a general. He's too valuable. No, he can be fired. Anybody can be fired in my government right now. It's not. Nobody's too valuable. Um, this is not happening. Ponzi scheme, you say? Um, where is Ponzi scheme? Is it under production? No. Ooh, we should finish that real quick. Um, is that under society? Ponzi scheme. Hmm. Trench works, man. What we really need is just get tanks, and then we can maybe beat <laughs> beat all these people up. That's that's the that's the dream. Uh, let's just take one year off and see if we can um, uh, help. Um, just help our our uh, infamy decrease a little bit. Get these people um, a little less unhappy. Yeah, we're at 34 right now. So we're getting it down. Uh, maybe they'll s care less in a bit. Um, probably also should upgrade our ships to ironclads or something better. Um, um, we also can increase our artillery. How long until we get trench infantry? We need the technology, don't we? Trench works. Hmm. What about bicycle messengers? <laughs> when did we get those? Uh, uh, this has to be done. What about... Um, one more thing. Uh, machine guns. We don't have machine guns. That would be kind of sick to get. To push our... Oh, you were just joking. I was like, Ponzi scheme? I was like, I don't know the tech that well. That makes more sense. <laughs> um... Hand crank. Uh, that means we could get bolt action. No, not yet. Okay. Maybe we vest in ironclads because our our ships suck. Hi, right, Tony. How are you doing today? Um, let's keep this. All right. Small arms not doing so great. Maybe we can invest in some more small arms too, so that we uh, have better. Weapons, what does this mean? We don't have repeating rifles, do we? Breach loading, yeah, we do, okay. Let's get some more of that. Um, we can also increase our munitions. Um, I'm interested in doing those two things because there's gonna come a day where we're going to have a bad uh, relationship with the, the British and we're gonna have to be able to defend ourselves outside of their market. Haley, uh, like, is that a reference to, is that a short, uh, for Willie? You guys, is that what you call him in the, cause it's, where's Waldo? Hey, Ellie, hey, Willie. Is that what, is that what you're trying to say? Um, all right. We could also just start fighting the the Brazilians too. Just being really antagonistic that way. God. My biggest concern is that if we do this, the French will most definitely join in and try to fight us. Um the British aren't going to like it, but we already have a solid relationship. Chile, loyal, Paraguay. Uh, 
France, what did they say? They're very infamous. Yeah, I think we just have to wait. We just have to wait because the the British, or not the British, the French are not going to be uh, friendly to us. So that's uh, that's our un unfortunately our situation we're in. All right. Technology wise, we can maybe we can start doing rubber soon. Yeah, we can. When does oil become a thing? I think oil is it not already a thing? Ah, uh, here it is. No, that's not oil. Hmm. They ba they actually based the book off of me. Did you know that? <laughs> Even though it was written in like the nineteen forties or fifties. Uh. Okay. Taxation, that's not going to help us that much. Mostly we just need to increase our technology and get our arms industry up and running a bit more. Um, um, they can be radicalized out there. The, there's another election coming. Let's see who's, who's going to win this election. Right now we have the radical movement and then we have the free trade, which is the landowner unit people i doubt that's true um the church and the petite bourgeoisie um this is makes more sense that the radical party is gonna win with all the all these people in power um i'm so surprised that our navy was inferior compared to the the chileans they uh they really surprised me with that is there another way to improve our relationship with the uh, with these boys other than uh, just by it will less respective device it will less receptive to diplomat diplomacy you might seek out alliances to protect themselves um, why are the French wary of us? They have 585 battalions, which is just like, can the, you not? Ooh, what's going on over here? Looks like the puppet, the Grand Duchy of Finland wants independence. Uh, how well is this war going? Looks like the war is going actually pretty well for um, the Finnish. BT Dub, how does the Catholic sway people in voting them to power? Uh, let's see. We'll see our, I think our religious strength, political strength is, population is Catholic, popular strength is Catholic. Um, but the church doesn't really have as much authority as it used to, um, just because they're only 5.5 of the, the base, whereas all these other parties are more much more empowered than they are. Oh. Election happened. Um, good, all right. So let's see what law we can do. Proportional taxation. Um, how much money does that give us comparatively? It gives us more money. Um, who hates this? The industrious people hate it. The landowners hate it, so maybe we don't do that just yet. Wage subsidies, people like. Um, is there any innovations that we can do? Welfare payments, political strength. There's that one. Probably do that next. Um, what are the laws? We should probably get um, mass conscription. I think that's probably more what we are looking for. I think mass conscription is what we need because uh, barracks max level, construction center max level, conscript rate, 100 training rate, battalions can mobilize 228 battalions. So it might put us on par with um, some of these larger powers that we're going to probably have to fight in the future.
can I send an image on chat? If you can go to our Discord and then you can probably do that. Uh, that's probably the best way to send an image. <laughs> you are the best president of Latin America. I don't know about that. <laughs> Who is our current president? Let's see. What's his name? His name is uh, Ricardo Gutierrez. Uh, he is a a uh, romantic um, interest groups game five percent strength authority expensive tastes oh damn who'd have thunk it um, British the East India Company would possibly join all right let's let's just make the play for it uh, if the French join then we we're gonna have to back out but that's just life um, The Uruguayans, the East India Company, would is potential to join their their uh, opinions. The Chileans can say they can be swayed into joining us. I don't really know if that's necessary, but we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, mobilize our units. Um, let's also go ahead and mobilize a lot more of our conscripts this time than we did last time because it felt like last time we got a bunch of conscripts and then we just didn't really use them for anything. Um, let's go to the military and a recruited general for uh, this recruit. Okay. So they're going to gain troops, I think. No. To defend this border right here with them. We'll see. Hopefully... It's it looks like the East India Company's leaning towards them. Only time will tell if they uh, they actually do that. So how strong is the East India Company? They're massive, so I'm not sure why they've taken an interest in this, especially because they don't. Maybe it's because they have no. Is this part of their land? Maybe. Where's Oli? Yeah. That's 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 the money right there. Do you have a neck tattoo too and face tattoos? Damn, son. <laughs> oh, that's that's goofy. Um, okay. Why did you incorporate all the provinces? Uh just cuz I thought it was good. Is that uh, uh, Kumar, is that a mistake? Should I have not incorporated them just because it causes them to then um, cost more? Go for Africa and Asia. Somebody in the comments of the previous stream said that I should go for Korea and then make a play for China. We'll see if after this little jaunt of uh, taking over Grand, uh, making Grand Grand Colombia. Uh, or grander Colombia, would it? Would that make sense? No, they will love it. Okay. Um, okay. My hope is that nobody else joins this war, other than who's already done it so far. Um, but. Only time will tell. What's their... I wanted to look and see how... Um... Are the French going to join this? No. Maybe not. I wish there was a window that showed us how better to understand... Um people's militaries because like there's a military window for us but I can't see um, East India's information they've got uh, line infantry but they don't have uh, they just have mobilized artillery not all right looks like everything's gonna go our way for now um, 
good. Um, let's make sure all of our units are conscripted and moved up. It looks like they are. Just, we want to make this war as quickly as possible uh, happen so that there's no long pr protracted conflict or anything like that. Um, yeah. Should be good. Oh, wow. They just uh, said, okay. We'll accept that. Holy smokes. Um, wow. Uh, that's insane. We just took those two, these two lands very easily. Uh, they say they're rebellious. Tyrannical geo affairs. Okay, that's fine. Well, we can be rebellious. Um, uh, let's go ahead and end our alliance with uh, these guys. Um, how do we go ahead and increase our um, influence? What's the best way to do that? Let's see if we can find information on influence. Influence is kept at use of packs and target. You gain it based on your rank. Okay, so because our rank is... Oh, we've fallen in rank a little bit. Because um, we're 15. Um, our prestige is not as high. Um, we probably could get more... Oh, it's because the Panama Canal isn't being subsidized? Is that what's happened? Yeah. We gotta continue to... Sub Not only do we have to subsidize this dumb canal, but we gotta keep it going. Does the streamer respond to comments in chat? Yeah. Of course I do. Uh, like, do I type it out? No. I'm just gonna talk to you about it. We're missing some stuff. Uh, a decent amount of stuff, actually. So, we can also stop suppressing these guys. I think that's fine. We can also go ahead and invest more of our... Uh, more of our cash. What do you think we have a shortcoming? In the British market, there's a bunch of things that have um, short... Um, Ironclads, just because they're not being built. Rubber is one thing that we could probably invest in more. Wood. Let's go ahead and just do that. Um, let's get our wood production even higher. I think that would be smart. That's that. That's that. Let's go that. Um, let's actually go to all of our uh, wood. I think we have a decent amount of wood being produced. And we can go rails. Which country are we? We're Grand Colombia. Um, and right now, we're trying to go for the achievement of uh, Grander Colombia, which is pretty much essentially own a bunch of land in, um, where is this? That's right here. Own uh, all of the La the Andes, all the La Plata, and all um, uh, the Grand Colombia. So pretty much, own most of South America that isn't uh, so Plata, Andes, Grand, and Grand Colombia. So we own most of them under a puppet or something. Um, in time, we'll have to attack our allies here. Oh, what country am I from? The United States. <laughs> I'm from Grand Columbia, don't you know? Yeah, I live in the US. Um, this war is actually surprisingly giving these boys a run for their money, which I would not have guessed. The Grand Duchy of Finland pulling a, a white war W. Uh, it's probably because the, Spa ah, the Spanish are helping them. That's why. Wow, look at that. 260 troops. Hmm. It's great. It's good stuff. Um. What happens? We made 
make these kids a puppet. We have a truce with them, so we can't do that. Um, our MPV is pretty high, so let's we can we need to click that down a little bit. Um, I think we just need to focus on passing some laws that would help us out in our upcoming conflicts. King of Finland and Russia the same? Maybe. They look... <laughs> oh, damn. That's bad. That is bad. Um, Tsar Nikolai. Tsar Nikolai. Yeah, it's because he's... No. That shouldn't be. How is that ho? So... That's in interesting. Yeah. That is so interesting. I wonder if it's just that's a bug or if that is actually how it's supposed to be looking like. I feel like it's... Um, that's not how it's supposed to be like that, but who knows. Um, so our hardwood's probably going to help us out here. Yeah. Just producing more hardwood. <laughs> Nikolai is dumb. He's he's actively trying to kill himself. Because the hair color? Yeah, it's very blonde. Um Let's see. Alright. Have we discovered oil yet? I feel like that should be a thing in these areas, but it seems like not yet. Um Still discovering resources in some of these areas. La Costa, because it's part of the coastlines. Um, we mostly need to just make everybody's quality of life go up and also just get more troops, a ton more troops. Right now we are, we're getting closer to being stronger. Um, I would like to probably develop more uh, barracks as it seems like it's going to be necessary. Um, let's do these. Let's do one in Miranda. Uh, we'll get these barracks going so that we then have more influence because of our uh, power projection from our troops. Uh, we also probably need to get the tech for our ships. I think that's... The ironclads might be... Might be the smartest thing we can invest in right now. Um, how do you build ships? We probably need a port um, or a uh, shipyard. Let's build a couple shipyards while we wait. How is our industry or our motor? Most productive in the world, about 15. Probably need to up our game on that. Um, this. Once we get electricity, that's probably going to be important too. It'd be nice to get a big ally like France. I wonder if we could... Or Spain. Spain would be a good... Mm, or Prussia. Prussia might be the bet that we take, because who who are the top three? It'd be nice to have a top three. We have Austria as one of them. I found Walto. Every day we're out here, we're out here trying to find Walto, and today you you done did it. It was this one wasn't easy. This was an easy one for sure. Um, can we sort by strength? Military, yeah, we can. Okay, so who's got the most battalions? The French do. And then it's... So maybe we invest in an Austrian or a Prussian alliance. I think that would make sense so that we can then offset the British or the French a little bit. Um, chat, who do we think to support? Do we get the Austrians? Are they much stronger? Or are they just trying to do their old things? They're only on line infantry. They kind of have a decent army. What about the... 
What about the Prussians? They're also online. So they're all up to about the same standards. <laughs> the best thing about the game is the music. I would uh, have to agree. Um, the music is um, enchanting, to say the least. It's really nice. Um, I think we invest time with the Austrians. I think that's a... It's not a bad idea. Um, seems like right now the best battalions... Well, the hard thing is we're going to have to fight the British, the Dutch, and the French at some point. So we can't have any of those guys as an alliance. Um, the Spanish don't seem that good. I think right now... Austria is the best, uh, so I think we'll invest our times into that. Unfortunately, we can't do anything. Can we, we can start bankrolling them. Why would we? Okay. Um, interesting. Men's got independence. They did. Oh, wow. Good job, Finland. And in 1878, is that uh, around the time they get it? No, the, it's not even close because they usually get it in... In uh, 19 whatever, after the communist revolution, that's when uh, Ro uh, the Russians lose that. Bliss should be happy. Yeah. Um, this guy doesn't want a defensive pack. Um, there's really not a lot of things we can do, surprisingly a lot, enough. We can't make a lot of, um, we can't improve with the Austrians because we already have a solid relationship with them. What about you guys? If we... If we owe them an obligation, what would they say? 38 reasons. 55 reasons. It just seems like we need to become a great power. That's uh, that's all we really can do, I think. Is it worth it? Well, it's for the achievement. That's the that's the hard part. Is we have to we have to control the Grand Columbia strategic region, and all three of these zones are part of it. Unfortunately, who would join if we attacked the Dutch? I don't think we're strong enough to do it just yet, but we're getting there. Also, if we build a strong enough navy, will it matter? You know? Um, will we... Can we just defend our coast well enough to uh, not have to deal with any sort of, um, you know, uh, foreign powers meddling in our affairs? Is there a decision for the Guianas? I don't think so, unless I've um, completely missed it. No, like there's no, it's unfortunately Paradox, for all their brilliance and forethought, they didn't do a lot of like, They I think they mostly did a lot of content for like major powers like the US, the British, the French, Prussians, Spanish, obviously all the like main European nations plus the US maybe some Mexico. Um, I think South America doesn't really get a lot of uh, love or isn't getting a lot of love currently, uh, which is fine, you know? I'm. That's why we're here to doing doing this today. Trying to, trying to pull that a little bit. Um, yeah. Let's see. I think we just got to invest in our economy more, uh, which means can we export anything uh, that we think we could use? Um, we have a decent amount of convoys. We can do that. Um, 
our navy is just a joke, but we can improve that with time. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to the markets and see what are we producing. Probably a ton of... Probably oil seems to be starting to be in demand. I know Venezuela has a ton of it. For some reason, we just haven't discovered it. I'm not sure if it's because we haven't um, done that tech. Is there a tech specifically for that? Uh, probably. Uh, da, da, da. Open hearths, steel mills, um, some more construction stuff. Um, plastics. No, oil should be pretty soon. After this. Vacuum cleaner? Canning? No. Rubbers. I feel like petroleum is like we're missing it. It's like right. Probably pump jacks? No. Ah, unlocks oil rigs. There it is. Let's just do that real quick and then we can uh, start making oodles and boodles of cash because uh, we will be then the top producer of oil if uh, we, if historically this is correct. Um, now we can have socialism too. So if I went to my government type, I could go ahead and change the laws and we could become a, like a socialist republic or foment a socialist republic. Uh, people would like rights to assemble. Some people wouldn't like it. What does rights to assemble give us? Less... Um, maybe we do rights to assemble. It seems like it's 47% already. People want that to happen, so why not? Why not already give them what... Give them the people what they want. Alright. Do we not have the capabilities of building that yet? Ah, we have one oil rig in Zula. Um, let's go ahead and invest that. Uh, put a bunch of investments in that. Put a tanker cars. Uh, do we have railroads here? We're gonna need railroads here. <laughs> um, let's move this up the chain. The nice thing is our manufacturing sector is getting much more much more expanded, so we can afford that. Yeah. Oh, we need to be doing research. Um, Maybe we do electricity next? 25 months? Anything in military? I don't want to skip past Ironclad into like destroyers and stuff, but probably aircraft carriers. We could have early aircraft carriers. That'd be crazy. Um, or getting bolt action in five years. Seems like way ahead of tech. Um, Leads to this, repeaters, that. This one just gives us a bunch of bonuses. Kill rate, army defense. Maybe that's too soon to do that. Yeah, it's a little too soon to do some of these. Um, societal stuff. Let's do this one. <laughs> Fuck socialism. <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably stay as a, I think we're just a republic for now. Um, powers. If I start bankrolling them, how much does it? Generates progress each day towards increasing. Would they? Let's just do it and see how bad it is for our economy. Oh, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Holy smokes, how is your economy in this much, in this shambles? <laughs> stop bankrolling them. Let's do it for a day, a week, and then we'll stop. That's insane. Why did I do that? 
Look at this line I've created. It's insane. Absolutely destroyed our economy. I also think electric would be a great option. We want a grand a Columbia papacy. Uh, I don't know if the Catholic Church would allow us to have a second papacy. Plus the papacy, didn't they get destroyed already? Let's see. Are they living now? The Italians have uh, gone ahead and destroyed them. Yeah, I, I, I love that that chart meme is getting better and better. Uh, it's just... Let's go ahead and take a picture of that real quick. Yeah, that's 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 what we want to see. Um, after these buildings, we should probably get some more stuff. Oh, we need to also work on our um, probably need to get more bureaucracy because we're getting tax base right now. Because after these oil rigs go in, things should be better. I can't believe that just just plunged us into having about 2.7k interest a month, which is quite a bit. Um, let's see if we can fix our budget a little bit by adding some stuff. No, it looks like we can't afford much. Um, liquor, no. Luxury goods would be good. How much is services bringing in? 12.8K. Bang. That's a lot of cash. Um, with that oil online now, we should probably get be getting more um, production of that. Um, yeah. Are we subsidizing anything? I think we're subsidizing the Panama Canal. I think that's the one thing for some reason we have to keep subsidizing. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Unfortunately, it seems to be an issue that we have to continue to do. Uh, it's atrocious. Yeah. The graph is atrocious. Uh, the graph the government type, we might change. Um, it's just wild that you can just become a monarchy. I don't really want to give power to the land people. Um, parliamentary Republic reduces the size of the government, law support plus one interest group. We could do a theocracy, we could do a council Republic, which is I don't know how that works. A council republic? This laws. I, I don't know if I re really understand what a council republic is, but that's. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Our construction is just so quick. We're just building so much quicker, which is awesome. Um, government wages can probably come down too. You um, can just that that should help us a little bit with our cash flow issues Swiss are still neutral I think so they're at least neutral to us uh, let's see what their diplomacy yeah their French have a, uh, a protectorate over it the Italians are oh not fully unified for some reason very interesting we could also get the U.S. on our side. I never, I don't know why I didn't think of them. They aren't the most powerful yet, but would they take an alliance? They might be more likely to take an alliance. No defensive pack. Um, we could start bankrolling them. Watch our economy cr crash once again. Uh, unused construction, that's fine. We need to pave down some of this debt that we've incurred. What 
else is the things that were costing us? It's mostly the construction goods that's costing us a lot. Um, surprised we're not seeing wild amounts of oil stuff come in right now. Uh, maybe because it's not fully online. Let's see how much oil we're producing a week. We're producing 183, which just makes us the top oil rig in the world. Really? Is that true? We're the most productive? I, that's insane. Can we see in the world um, certain resources? Uh, loyalty markets, migration, military, national, radical, standard states. Oh. I don't know if you can look at specific resources and say this is this is the best one. Uh, let's go look at the market though. Um, maybe if we go to the market tab, we can see. A lot of people don't want to buy oil, or just don't have a need for it yet. Well. Someday they'll have a need for it. The oil is the oil needs will soon be uh, they'll be coming, even if they say they aren't here yet. Um, let's look at this. Yeah, Hot, sell orders are much higher than buy orders. That's fine. Oil can be a resource that. Oh, well, that was a nice crash. Just to go, shoot, go to show you that uh, Victoria is not the most uh, effective game. Um, God, I feel like this is happening at least once per um, once per re record sesh now that we're just having a crash that it happens and it's just breaking down everything, which is unfortunate. All right, why don't we go to break uh, while this works itself out and then I'll be right back uh, with more content for y'all.
we're back. Um, we got a lot of questions. Uh, it crashed. Yeah. Why does it crash? Probably because my computer can't handle uh, what I got going on for the game plus the streaming services and all that stuff. If you don't know, after the first break, we always uh, talk about the snack we brought to the stream. And today we've uh, got some soup, some pho for you all. It's uh, some Vietnamese soup, bone broth soup. It's pretty fire. We got it from um, a restaurant here in town, um, and I'm all about it. All right. How long has it been? Okay. It caught the game. The game didn't go back that far. Mm. Yeah, this pho is good. It's some good pho. Some relaxing pho. Okay. Our economy still not having the greatest of times. Um, after this building is built, I think we should fix some of this tax waste. Um, in whatever, in two weeks time, it should be ready. What's up, B? How are you doing today? Uh, if you're just joining us, which it seems like some people are, we're actively trying to make Grander Colombia a thing. Uh, so far, we have Argentina and Chile as uh, puppets and a dominion. Um, someday we will annex them. I'm not sure until what point we do that. If we have to do something militarily to do that, or if it's like just done naturally over time. I genuinely cannot run a Victoria uh, economy. I think you could do it. It's It takes time. Um, I'm not saying I'm the best at it just yet. Like, it's hard. No, don't get me wrong. It's, like, very hard to do this. Um, oh, did the British stop being in a defensive back with this? Um, where is our defensive? No, we're still in a defensive back with them. Okay, why did I assume that we hadn't? We'd lost something or something. Um, I have like five hours in the game and I still have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, th yeah, that's kind of how I felt too. Uh, there's plenty of uh, good resources on YouTube if you're feeling still like a wash in the information. <laughs> Brazilians need to get war declared on them. We could take uh. We need to take Paraguay next, probably. So let's do that before we take the war to uh, them. Let's go conquest of their lands. The Russians would be involved in this? Why the Russians? East India Company too. Not really sure why the Russians would be involved. Maybe because we're just making so many waves. Um. I think that might be it. John, what are you talking about Hurricane Ian for? No, declare war on the Brazilians. I'm Brazilian. <laughs> Get involved because you're a violent, violent fellow. Yeah. That would make sense. Um, what are the Russians? They think we're wary. Uh, it's because we're doing a lot of expansion. Um, what would happen if we took over, puppeted these guys? They say, if we have a cordial relationship, let's expel this for now. What is our, can you, is there an infinity ta uh, tab somewhere? I imagine if I go to m infamy, loyalties, no, that's not it. Um, these map modes are not very helpful, <laughs> to be honest. I wish they were a little more 
uh, detailed. Um. If we go ahead and start doing this. Um. They don't want to... I really want an alliance with the Austrians to keep some of these other European powers from getting involved. But I think we have to just become a great power. Um, which I think we could do. Maybe not. Looks like we can't even become a major power. Is it in diplomacy? Um, there it is. Uh, we're pretty up there. We're at nine infamy, but it's. The Spanish have a poor relationship with us. Hmm. Yeah. We're not as bad as the Prussians. The Prussians have the most infamy. The Vic sounds are amazing. Yeah, they really, uh, they really turned it up to eleven for the um, all this. Um, let's make them a puppet. At the start of the play, they face the enemies. The Russians would come. Are you allied with the Russians? In a defensive pack with the Russians? Are you kidding me? Well, that's annoying. What about the Paraguayans? We just conquer state. The Russians might get involved. So with the Chileans, maybe the French. All right, let's just... Oh God, I hate this. Um, I hate all these foreign powers trying to meddle in my business. Um. Let's do electricity next. Oh no, we already have electricity. Let's build those plants now. Thanks, E. Thanks for coming out. Um, let's see. Now that we have electricity, what are the inputs for power plants? Cannot build a power plant, has to invent electrical generation. Oh, okay, so we haven't, I thought we did it. Oh, we haven't done it, duh. Um, let's go, invest in that. Uh, let's also, our economy is not the strongest right now, mostly because of subsidies is helping, interest not great, um, government buildings. There's a lot. I don't know. I made a mistake and did it. I don't know why Dominion is a thing. I would just have puppeted them, but unfortunately because, because of my situation now, I have to, like, we have to make them a Dominion and then... Once we dem once we that happens, we can make them a um, a puppet. Um, same with this. When can we annex you? Probably not for a while. Until 1882. Our truce is up with them, so that's fine. I would like this land. It'd probably be better to get the land before we do any more expansions, because why not? Um, where is this? It's under these. We can't make not a valid tough yet. Can we annex Vassal? No. Hmm. Foreign policy is independent. Yeah, but how do we annex them? That's my confusion. Or can we not do that for a while? Does a certain amount of time have to pass? New election just went through. Who won? The conservative party won. Oh, wow. That's crazy. They're not going to get any uh, uh, 
new people. We have uh, this guy as the ruling head. Um, I'm good. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It feels like we should be able to annex these two. Bruce just left the room. <laughs> just scurried out from underneath the couch we have in here and just bolted out of the room for some reason. I don't know why, but he was really feeling himself. All right, well, we'll see when this truce comes up, if we can like annex them or do something diplomatically with them, or if I just kind of screwed everything up and then I have to grant them independence and do it all over again. Because that would be truly annoying if that if that was how that had to go down. But knowing Paradox, I could see that happening. I feel like in EU4, I did have experiences like that where I, I was trying to do something and because I clicked the wrong button, I was not able to annex somebody until I did a couple different things to make it true. There just doesn't seem to be a better way to improve other than bankrolling people. And I don't have the economy to bankroll the Austrians or anything like that. You can expel diplomats and then go and say, you say conquer them? But it says it's part of me. I'm back, I hate work. <laughs> Welcome back. Glad to hear it. Um, it just seems like we can't catch a break. Like, annex subject. Somebody else have a subject in here? No. Hmm. Also, does this count as... Let's see. Okay, let's... For one second, let's quickly attack uh, Paraguay for their lands, and then maybe that will do it. Uh, we'll conquer them for this part of their lands. Um, hopefully, my infamy isn't too bad. I just did uh, cause more infamy to happen. Let's go ahead and cause more infamy. <laughs> uh, let's see if anybody joins them. It looks like the Russians are in interested in joining. But... I don't know if they will for sure join. You know. Okay. So you're saying everybody in chat is just saying diplomatic play is how you do it. Okay. We can do that. We're escalating. Um, we're really hoping that uh, the British say they would come and assist us. Um, what do the British want? Probably something in return. How does the Paraguayans... Oh, they don't. I was about to say, how does the Paraguayans have a huge navy? And I was like, oh, it's just the... Um, it's just them. They don't have a huge navy. How does one Victoria? Uh, well, just like every other... Paradox game, you kind of make your own rules. Uh, right now, we're trying to make Grand Colombia, or Grander Colombia, um, and that's how you do it. Do you need assistance if you can overrun Parag uh, Paraguay quickly? No, I just don't want to fight the Russians. <laughs> uh, it should be pretty easy. Especially because I don't know what is their armed forces are like, but I don't think they're strong enough. They're actually... Ah, they're not that good. They have decent... Um, they have the mo line infantry, but I have better uh, artillery and all that. 
Um, because we have skirmish and next we need to get machine gunners. That would be probably super helpful. Uh, looks like the Russians are supporting them. So we'll see if the Russians get there um, in time. That means we should also activate a lot more of our troops. Um, let's go ahead. Boom, 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 boom. Let's just activate a lot more of them. Conscripts come in being mobilized. Um, the arms. I don't know how the Russians are going to get here in time. I don't think they are. Because we're probably going to crash into their armies and should be pretty dominant against them. Yeah, here comes more tro of our troops. I don't really understand how the Russians are going to help. But, you know, maybe the navally naval invade us or something and that will uh that will cause some trouble um could you not have mobilized before the war i could have i just didn't do it because i thought w we did mobilize some of our battalions but not of our conscripts so now that the Russians joined, I was concerned that the, um, they would join. Uh, the Russians would uh, join and now have brought up all of our troops, but I don't know where the Russians are going to land. Plus, I don't know how strong the Russian forces are, but I'm pretty sure they're not like that. Well, let's click on Poland HQ. Uh, we'll go to buildings. Yeah, they still have line infantry, so technically we have better forces than them, in theory, but... That should, um, we'll see. Like, we should have a distinct advantage. And should probably steamroll them pretty quickly here. And I don't think the Russians are going to join. First, make a Dominion puppet that you can devolve them to core sta state. Um, yeah, I wonder what is that screen under? It's under this one. Because I can't incorporate these states because they're not part of mine. Hmm. Wars are expensive. That's, uh, that's for sure. Starting to have some inroads here. Surprised that we're just not... Act well, it seems like we are pretty much steamrolling them in these battles. I think these first couple battles have to happen. And then uh, our war support is... Yeah, they have... Not as many as wounded as us, but... That's probably because we're, um, we're attacking. So attackers always get a lot more... More uh, damage dealt to them. But mostly what I'm trying to figure out is if I take this, does this then count as owning all of La Plata? Uh, the strategic reason of La Plata. Which I think... Mm, no. Because we still don't own that. Really don't like... The fact that I have not a better control over this army, other than I just sent 60 units, 60 to battalions just to fight these guys. I don't know. Feels weird. Feels like more of a... Like in Crusader Kings, it feels like you can do a little bit more, like have more control over things because you move the, your troops here and there. But here it just feels like I just... You kind of roll the dice every time and you have no real control once the war starts. It's all about preparing up until the war. Um, 
but then after that, you uh, kind of don't really get to do very much after that. Uh, prestige of is reduced below 380. Okay. Um, why are we considered a subject? Uh, probably because we're in the customs union. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if we can export some stuff to... Ooh. Uh, we can do electrical stuff. Uh, let's Before we do that, let's see if we can uh, get Repper next. I think that's where we need to go. Um... Who are we improving relationships? Oh no, we've already stopped that, okay. Um, US doesn't want to form an alliance because we're infamous. Um, the Austrians. These kids are fighting each other, aren't they? What is this war for? Prussia versus Austria? What is the... Bavaria conquer okay well we'll see who wins this war and pretend between those two we'll make a decision on who we take as an ally I'd imagine the Austrians would be a better ally just because they don't have as much infamy but I think that's fine um, where are all these troops only 60 of them Go mobilize them and then advance them. Just add more troops to the front. <laughs> um, this guy is getting attrition. What does that mean? Oh no, he's no longer getting attrition. I don't know, guys. This is this is the still the black box for me uh, when it comes to this. It's just like you just fight long enough until the AI gives up. <laughs> that's that's my experience so far. Um, Which is it's a good thing and a bad thing. Also shows that our economy is not robust enough to handle uh, a long protracted uh, fight like this. Look at how much we're hemorrhaging money-wise. Yeah. I feel like the war in Victoria is good early game before it slows down. Yeah, it's kind of slow right now, but eventually it should pick back up, uh, especially now that we have all these troops coming in. It will be interesting once if we get to the age of having tanks and other uh, major um, armaments like that, how well that changes the whole dynamic of fighting and stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and make children stop being laborers. <laughs> let's just do that one. Child labor laws are, they're good. And the Russians seemingly never showed up for this conflict, so I don't think I need to mobilize my whole army for it. Uh, there's a bunch of, oh, it's Finland. Okay. I was like, why is there a bunch of, uh... People, Norwegian people migrating to uh, Colombia, but you know, maybe as somebody who's been to Colombia for a decent amount of time, uh, it's a good place to go visit if you have the opportunity to, especially Medellin and the coast. I feel like Cartagena, also a good place to visit. Cartagena, Santa Marta, Barranquilla, too. Um, cool. War's over, we won. Okay. Um, turmoil is going to happen. We can't incorporate it into our stuff just yet. 
C, but more children equals more factory workers. Yeah, but I also don't like maimed children. <laughs> you know? Having maimed children is uh, not uh, a part of my favorite. Yes. What makes it an unhealthy economy? The fact that credit used, 70% of our credit is being used. Yeah, that makes sense that it's an unhealthy economy. Um, let's see if we can fix some of our economic woes by building more buildings. Um, we could also send some decrees to uh, emergency relief these people so that then they have less turmoil. I think that's that will help. Now Brazil. Uh, our um, standard of living is okay. We're not the best in the world. We're not the worst in the world. Um, let's see if we go to the standard of living. Yeah, Africa's bad. Russia's bad. The U.S. pretty good. British, France, good. Bavaria, not so good right now. Probably because they're in the midst of that war, so there's not that. I swear, you, you can say whatever you like. <laughs> Tony, you, it's fine. We're not going to invade Brazil just yet. Um, so your home nation will be all right. Uh, let's see. I would love to conquer a bunch of this land, but we don't have the money to afford that just yet. Uh, let's see. If we can export some stuff, like... It's surprising that nobody needs oil. Like, I'm very surprised by that. Bajo Paraguay is very much in need of our support. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> uh, okay. Argentina, Chile. Can we now make a diplomatic play on them? Like. Yeah, I don't really understand. Is it over like a certain amount of time and then they can become? Um. Uh, ongoing effort to improve our 15% progress today and will result in a relationship plus one on this puppet progress from each day towards increasing relationship. Our relationship is good. Um, what about this? Same thing. Austria is actively damaging our relationships. Well, it looks like the Austrians don't want to be allies. So that's unfortunate. Let's see if we want to improve relations with the the Prussians. Trade routes need convoys. Some low values here. Uh, okay. Uh, wow. That passed pretty simply. Not a lot of uh, need there. Uh, now let's see if we can get these people more educated. Conscription rate, revolution se session progress, political movement, radicalization, uh, social security. Uh, let's get this one. Still hemorrhaging a decent amount of cash. Um, if only we could export something. What do we have a a glut of. Um, we need, people need automotives. So I wonder if our industry can become automotive yet. No. What do we need to do? Combustion engine. Okay. Well, once we can build a combustion engine, we should be good. 
have to make South America great again. Oof. <laughs> sure, sure. We can do that. Um, we're doing rubber. Where is the combustion engine? Uh, is it under... As usual, I'm just doing my favorite thing of just staring at the screen until it, I guess I can just go and uh, find it out this way. Go to markets, go to this, and you say automoto, automobiles. I think there should be a decision on Simone Boulevard in Victoria 3. Yeah, feels like uh, feels like Simone should be raised from the dead with necromantic powers so that we can uh, use his uh, corpse to prop up uh, our grand nation. <laughs> or something of that accord. Um, naval bases are short on what? Let's switch to ironclads. Um, this is what I was trying to find out. We can't switch to the automobiles until we get... God. Oh, it's not for a while. Not till eight years? How the hell are we supposed to... Who has combustion engines? Is the, U is the US already producing them? No way. Let's go to like... Do they have infrastructure? Uh, no, see, they don't have it either. Then why is, who requires combustion engines? This game sometimes. Oh, is um, automobiles its own thing? No. Yeah, it's, there's a demand for it? Yeah, that's what I thought. The AI, the AI is debating me. The game is debating me once again on what, can, like things that I can be uh, producing, except for it's not. Yeah. Simone Bolivar died in yeah in 1830. Yeah, before the game even begins, Simone is uh, very much a dead man. Uh, unfortunately for him, he is the he is the big dead. Um, let's go ahead and build a railroad here. That should increase a lot of uh, infrastructure needs. Um, we're also not doing a great job of our economy. I'm not sure why that is. Legacy type decision, yeah. That would be good. Bring down military wages a little bit. And then maybe we'll have some money for things. Government wages. Minting. Diplomacy packs. What does diplomacy packs mean? Oh, Chile and them are giving us about 10k each. Take on people's Russia's debt. I can take Costa Rica's debt on. Russia's got a ton of debt. I'm not interested in taking that. Um, protect. What happens? If we left the British custom unions. I have a feeling it's going to destroy our economy. But let's just. How long until, like, say if we did it, um, how bad that would be? Uh, let's go to custom union and say leave it. Um, where's that? How bad would this be? Cannot make this into a separate union creates a. 
not a junior member. Um, friendly, ongoing. If we break the diplomatic, we... D All right, let's do it. So it's going to destroy our economy. Got it. Um, whose other custom union can we join? Uruguay's custom union? <laughs> Honduras's custom union? Um, got it. Good to know. Um, that was a bad mistake. Uh, so we're probably importing a ton of things and exporting a ton of things. Um, yeah, we have a shortage on tools. Um, what is the market over here? All right, so our market right now, um, which would be mostly missing coal, we're missing tools, we're missing a lot of paper. God. <laughs> uh, Scandinavia, our Spanish market, or why this, why the Scandinavians is a Spanish market? Um, Daddy Britain, can I join your thing again, or is it again? Take your debt. Ask the British to take your debt. Um, can you do that? Um, um, they will not accept. Uh, not trading in our market, the British GDP, our GDP. Base reluctance, if we got an, oh, an obligation, they would almost say yes. Um, that was bad timing. Why don't we figure out how to fix this now? Um, darn. Can we st stop improving and start improving with them? No. I just wanted to see how bad it would be. And it turns out it's bad. It, it'd be very bad if we uh, left their market just yet. Especially because we don't have a... Um, we don't have a great uh, resource on all of these things. Um, is that under diplomacy that we can try to do that? No. We have a defensive back. Will they let us join there? Well, I guess we'll just have to hang out a little bit until we can possibly join it again. They will not accept this proposal. Um, custom union. Change to our custom union. Oh, this is what you mean. I'm confused. Uh, so, what does this mean? Change to our custom union. Or if I join it, make them join the custom union. Um, what is the reason why? Cautious. We could make a custom union with all these kids. Is that what you're saying? Hmm. Let's see. Is there a way to rejoin a custom union after it's uh, done? I don't know. Once again, we're back at this. Once again, back at this. Um, for some reason, this game is not the best when it comes to maintaining a long-term uh, situation. It's tough. It's tough. We'll see. All right, we're back at it. Cool. All right. 
seems to be so. All right. All right, we're back here. Uh, how far back do we go? Looks like we're still in the custom union, which is probably good uh, for now. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to. We're gonna stay in this custom union if, for a little bit longer, and then we'll figure out what our next move is. Um, how do we? We wanted to make a military play. I don't think we can just yet. How many times the game crashes? Uh, this game crashes a decent amount. Uh, it's possible, like I said, my computer just doesn't like how I'm handling it. I just keep it, um, keep so many programs running right now. I imagine my CPU is just a little unhappy with my decision making up to this point. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Um, guaranteed liberties. Uh, sure, let's do this. It's gonna piss off the armed forces. Uh, they'll be they'll be mad about it, but they'll get over it. We really need to fix our. Um, yeah, we just need to fix our our uh, economy. Investment pool is one point million. That's fine. We really just need the oil industry to boom, balloon up. Um, right now, that's not really helping us out. Uh, what is the other thing that we can? Oh God! Again, this game is just not wanting to run uh we might have to call it for today just because it keeps keeps crashing or and it's a uh, it's tough uh when in stream is unable to play anyways okay God. Victoria 3, man. Who knows? Is it just like it's not optimized correctly? Is that that possible part of the process? You know, I know like certain games, like when Cyberpunk first came out, it was really bad. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully this is the last one. Okay. Hopefully this is th that's it. Um subsidies. Who are we subsidizing? From the railway and the Panamanian uh Yes, I wish the Panamanian stuff would stop being true. Um, let's do that. Um, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's all right. Get all that going again. Our economy should be much better now. Uh, how is our population doing? I wanted to see... It looks like the peasantry isn't... People aren't as many... There's not as many peasants as there were before. Looks like everybody's slowly becoming more educated. Even if standard living is not the best. It's, it's getting closer to being better, but... Victoria 3 has problems. You can say that again. Uh, it definitely has a decent amount of them. Let's just say we have an interest there. I don't really have any interest in any of those. Um, secession movement is possible. 
because there's so much um, anger in these secession movements. That's all these people down here. Got it. That's the secession movement. It's all these people who are mad about uh, being taken over. Um, could we make another play once we have cash flow in? And liberate Cuba. That's not what we want. Can we make Peru, um, Peru, Bolivia a thing? Yeah. But the Russians would come help them out. Um, but the British help us out. How close are the British to forming an alliance with us? Probably not very close. Learned our lesson that one time. Netherlands would want an alliance with us? Seems interesting. Um, are they still in, they're still in a defensive pack with Brazil too. Wow. The Brazil, Italy, and the Netherlands. Hmm. All we can do is just, uh, hope to make money. I think that's, we just got to get our stuff back. Grand Colombia transitioned from agrarian economy to mechanized economy. Yeah, we're slowly doing that. We need to... Gained urbanized. We only have about 11%. All eligible Grand Columbian states, any building level higher, greater than 5. No, that's not happening anytime soon. Public trading. Expand the oil industry. Um, we could do that one. How much oil are we producing? We're producing about 247 of it a week, and the market isn't really... I feel like the market isn't really needing it just yet, which is annoying because it's one of those resources that it will be very valuable in the long term, but not a lot of use right now. Arnachrism has uh, passed. What are we researching again? I think we we're re researching rubber so that we could uh, get rubber plant a plantation of rubber here. Um, probably should um, also add a. Uh, train station here and a train station here Britain can you come over here and just buy our debt from us that would be that would be the best move for you um, bankroll alliances asked to become bankroll does anybody want to bankroll us <laughs> Uh, we can make rivalries with people. What does rivalries do for us? <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> I think you, <laughs> Kumar, you're using a very modern uh, way to deal with uh, the oils. I think you should increase prices of oil by manipulating by cutting down the production. Well, the thing is, there's just no need for it right now. So unfortunately, we don't got the we don't got the problems with that. Um, who are these people? The secession is where? In this one place. Uh, it's because turmoil is really high. I think. Um, we could go ahead and do uh, a dis decree to help that out. We could go ahead and violently suppress. Uh, 
get every drop of the uh, stuff wells. Uh, combustion engine gets 5,000. That's good. Let's do that one. Um, I've never done with secession, so let's see what happens when we do this. What happens if we incorporated it? It's got 13% GDP. It's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and start incorporating it and see if that if that does anything for us. Um, every week changes by turmoil. The following state would secede. Um, can we fight them for that secession? You can stop secession by reducing turmoil among the people that have blah 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 okay so maybe violently uh suppressing this isn't helping um that emergency relief brings down brings that down but it seems like it hasn't done a good enough job we'll see if they secede they secede you know all those people died in vain. <laughs> That'd be tough. Very tough. Ah, they seceded. Or are trying to secede. Let's get, um, mobilize this army. Interesting that the Argentinians just go ahead and fight all of our fights for us. Would this form its own nation? Interesting. Probably. Um, combustion engines would be done in six years. That's not going to help us just yet. Um, we're still trying to pass a law? No, I don't think we are. Let's probably get that done. Um... I think we need to do this. We need to get um, more money. Proportional. People will get over it. So that we can have more taxes and all that stuff. Because um, right now we are kind of in a weird place tax-wise. We can also go ahead and delete some of our construction stuff. Uh, like that. That should make it a little bit cheaper. Yes, I understand people are trying to secede. Um, radical party, radical party. More for the radical party. Radical Party has changed. It's no longer... It's no longer the intelligentsias who are part of it. No party affiliation. Alright. Can we just... Can we get to the part where we fight you? Or just... Just give us what we want. It's it's annoying that you're just taking this time to get here. We're also probably gonna hit bankruptcy here pretty soon. Um, I think we can stop subsidizing the. Polish migration to Connecticut. Um, which is great. Let's stop subsidizing this for a second. It's gonna stop doing all that stuff, but it's fine. Will they... The Spanish are gonna help fight this war? Or considering to help? Are they going to back down? Probably not. 
Oh. Um, no battalions. Okay, cool. Should be an easy fight, in theory, because their troops are not tr that strong. But who knows? Um... Yeah, we're crushing them pretty easily. But this is not doing any good for our economy. If anything, it's making things much, much worse. <laughs> like, much worse, guys. Ugh, this is bad. This is real bad. Um, Wait, did the North German Confederation get formed? Cool. Is this Bismarck? No. Frederick Wilhelm. That's Wilhelm. Bismarck is the the other guy. Um, he doesn't want to be an ally, right? No. This is a dumb war. We already fought this war once. We're gonna. I guess we're gonna have to fight it again. The AI doesn't love me. That's for sure. That's real tough. All right. Well, we're about to hit our mark too. How? Uh, good. Guess we can reform the government a little bit, kick the armed forces out. That should fix that. Um, let us go and see what we can decrease our budget a little bit, like that stuff. Um, let's hope this gets passed sooner rather than later. Another one wants to be allies with us. Uh, I'm planning that for now. I guess we might have to mobilize one group of people just to help get this situation done quicker. That's the dream, at least. If you're just joining us, we're trying to put down a rebellion uh, in Victoria 3, as well as form Grand Columbia. Right now, it's annoying because we are we have puppets over Argentina and we have a dominion over uh, Chile, but I would love to just have their lands instead. Um, but dipl diplomatically, I don't think we're allowed to annex them. Grant independence, that's not what we want. You know? Obviously, we're still in a war right now, but. All right, Separatists, give up. You guys don't want to be fighting this anymore. Can't believe the gosh dang Russians have a defensive pack with the Peruvian Bolivians. Oh, what a, what a headache and a half. A headache and a half for sure. So, well, let's see. So right now it says they're loyal. Will not attempt to gain independence. You're saying if you expel your diplomats first, then there should be an option to annex the state. Is that all in the diplomacy window? Is that what you're saying? Guess we can't make it until this war is over. We 
regardless of loyalty. Okay. Well, we'll see in a second. Once this war is over. How is this war not over? Okay, peace deal. Crush the suspension. So you say I go here and I say expel diplomats. And then I should be able to go to this diplomacy. And then it doesn't say takes. I can't take their stakes. Can't annex them. Can't open their markets. Um, all right. Hmm. Maybe I'm not doing it right, but I just don't see it. Violate neutrality, custom unions, annex. I don't know. I don't know what you say, but it doesn't seem to be true. Is it because they're not in my interest group? No, they're definitely in my interest group. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe it's because they have a different relationship. No, they have a puppets with them, so. Is it a time-based thing? I don't know. That's annoying. Let's see if we can find it on uh, Reddit real quick. They're already in puppet, so that's the uh, that's the hard thing. Is there a puppet, and then? We'll keep trying to improve our economy and then we'll figure it out. I don't know if that's what exactly our situation is, but it seems like there's something afoot that I don't know quite how to how to change. Um, yeah. Grant independence, open diplomacy, become zoom on Buenos Aires, that doesn't help. Information, that's not helpful either. Uh, battalions, cool, cool. Um, zoom to Cordoba, that's not helpful. Open diplomacy. That's that. Um, well, I don't think we can do anything about that. Got some people coming over the border and some people coming over the border. Uh, we now have proportional tax. Uh, people are really opposed to it, but now we have a ton more money coming in, which is good. That should give us an edge in some stuff. Um, does the North Confederation want to be asked to be protected? Progress each day towards increasing relationship? No. Form a defensive pact? They are not interested in that either. How's it going, Marco? Or Marco? Uh, uh, Mikkel. Uh, it's good. Guess what happened in the game randomly? Uh, Finland got its independence from the Russian Tsardom randomly, just on their own. Well, I guess with the Spanish help. But they were able to take on the Tsar pretty easily. Uh, so you, you missed that. 
<laughs> so Waldo, yes, we've we've found him. At, um, currently battling the fact that we can't um, force our puppets and dominions into owning their lands. So it's interesting. What is Uruguay's nation uh, relationship right now? They're in a custom union with them. So we could take Uruguay if we really wanted to. But I don't know. The Dutch really want an alliance. I don't know why they keep wanting an alliance. They're in a defensive pack with the British, though. Man, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish Grand Grander Columbia. It's probably, uh, probably not likely, especially with how dominant the world is. I feel like... We're trying our best, but we can only do so much. At least our economy is on the mend. Um, what are we subsidizing still? Society and plus this one to it. Feminism would be a thing that we could do. I want automobiles so that we can make, um, I don't know. Automobiles seems like the next thing we should be working on. Also, probably generating electricity. I don't think we have a single building that's for electricity power stations. Um, probably. Put a couple of power stations here and there in our more uh, just get these other natural resources going too. Uruguay would like an alliance. The Netherlands would like an alliance, but um, it's also because we don't have enough influence. That's the hard thing. Uh, if we stopped influencing these guys, maybe we'd be able to do something. Um, that might be the reason why, too. All right. Nope. I don't know. Um, they would say no, a hundred reasons why. We have an alliance or a defensive pact with a rival compared to that ideology is different. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be nice to get out of our custom union and join the German one, maybe? The British one has been nice to us, but it's, uh, it's also been tough because we've been uh, uh, kind of chokeholded by them a little bit. Uh, if we would like to get out of it, we'd be in trouble uh, economically, but I don't think that's going to happen. I feel like we're at like a weird st standstill. Like we're making money, we're doing, we're increasing stuff, but I can't really seem to like wrap my head around um, some of these dumb issues that we're having with uh, with Argentina and them. Like if I went ahead and just granted Chile independence, what would that do? They'd just be like, cool. Okay, uh, what happens if we break this diplomacy, gets a truce for 12 months? Um, uh, 
we're in a, they're in our custom union, but we're technically part of the British market, so. Hmm. Only A was smarter. <laughs> then we would have a good idea of what, what's going on. Uh, secession movement, where? This again? How do I turn down turmoil? What's the cost of a British custom union? Uh, it's probably not that high. I think we're just... Um, just gives us a better relationship with them. It doesn't cost us anything being in it, other than we don't we're not in control of our own economy, which but that's fine because we can't I don't think we could afford um it without them, you know. Um some turmoil here. Um we could always violently suppress this. We could do some violent suppression. Let's see how, how bad the turmoil is after that. Um, we could also increase their uh, goods access. Seems like they're not finding a lot of resources, unfortunately. Uh, to be honest, these kids tr keep trying to secede. After this next session, we should just probably let them go. Because there's no point in keeping them around if they're just going to keep trying to break out. Um, Paraguay is a problem. The fact that we had just had a uh, secession with them and it didn't like fix anything like we still have to fight them again it's just dumb i don't understand how that like we're about to fight them once again like cool this is dumb. Go send them to this front say what happens if we back down Um, if we crush this rebellion, revoke claims on this. Uh, prices are pretty stable. Um, silk and hardwoods are still needing to be increased. I imagine we can fix that. How about we, for now, let's just back down and let them have their own. They can have, this can be this own country. You know, I don't really care. It's, it's kind of a, been a pain in our sides so let's just let them be for now um we can increase our uh production of woods which would be good uh, once we get that we can also increase our production of all this stuff um That's over with. Um, are they at war still? They're not over war. The <laughs> Argentinians are gonna try to conquer it. Well, they can have it. At this point, I don't. I don't want to be involved. Yeah, it's tough. I think we're gonna probably have to take today as an L. Uh, for some reason, we're just constantly not being able to increase our um, total output. Uh, we are making enough money, but we're not making... I wanted to be able to, you know, annex these people, but for whatever reason, we cannot annex them, which is quite annoying. Uh, let's see if there's any military stuff we can increase on. Do this machine gun stuff, which just makes machine guns easier. Um, I 
Unlocks bolt action rifles. That'd be cool to get those sooner rather than later. How's our rubber plant coming? It's going all right. Um, can we public trade with the this? No. I don't understand why this is so hard to, I have to constantly subsidize the Panama Canal to keep it going. Maybe because just there's not enough uh, people. I don't know. Uh, is annexing other countries legal according to your legalism? I don't know what that would fall under. Would that fall under um, colonial? No. What? Dedicated police, no. Colonial efforts, free trade. Um, I don't know. Protected speech, technology, this would help actually piss off a bunch of people, but whatever. Um, I don't think there is one specific for... Um, for uh, taking over lands. I don't know. For annexing, sorry. I don't think there's a specific thing to do that. Let's go with bolt action, I guess. Um, and then we can get automatic machine guns, and that should make our armed forces even more powerful. Um, rubber, a rubber rush, which is happening. Uh, I think once we get these rubber uh, plantations done, things will be a little bit more... Uh, We'll have even more people to do this. Uh, what is this saying? Bolivia, Upper Strat. Uh, okay. found uh, more rubber discovered where oh it's here there's more rubber plantations all over the these areas which is nice it's giving us more resources to get looks like we're low on coal surprisingly not enough seems like coal has become still more valuable What's the nature of our diplomatic relationship with Chile? Right now we have a um, dominion over Chile and a puppet over um, over uh, Argentina. But for whatever reason, we are unable to annex them. Uh, maybe just like you say, due to our our legal system, but it seems like that should be able to happen. I don't know why they wouldn't allow us to uh, attack. Like, none of these should really matter, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. a lot of rubber coming out of the out of nowhere like all these i guess that's good uh, let's go ahead and make more coal increase our coal production here um yeah 
let's go to our buildings, our rural, and make it all steam power. Because apparently coal is super in demand. It's crazy how much coal they're wanting. Uh, there's some turmoil in here. That would be great if this became independent. Um, so that I could just take it over without having to fight the British. Hmm. All right. So Peru, once we get out of this uh, deficit that we're in, I think we should uh, think about annexing a ton of territory from Peru and them. Looks like a bunch of people would be interested in this. It's probably because our infamy is so high, too. Um, actually, our infamy is actually not that high. There's Austrian... Oh. Proletariat, rebellious people, it's sweet. Um, we don't actually have that high of uh, infamy. That's good. We can make the Peruvians a uh, puppet, but their allies are pretty strong because the Russians are very strong. But are the Russians actually that strong or they're just a bunch of, uh, they just have a bunch of troops? Like, are they actually militarily advanced, or are they just like, we just have, uh, like, tons of levies? They kind of, they have line infantry, which is better than, it's getting better. I think if we had machine gunners, we'd probably be able to take them on pretty easy. Because we have skirmishers. Next is trench. Um... Then it's artillery. How's our navy doing? It's still these kinds of ships. Um, if you have interests are going to disappear, that's fine. I'm fine with not having an interest in in uh, this area of Panama or uh, the Caribbean. How do we go ahead and upgrade our ship types? I think if we go to our naval bases, wherever they are. Where are our naval bases? Sure. Um, sure? I don't know. Antioquia, that's right. We need more ironclads. I thought we had a... This people, what are you building? Is that ironclads? Steamers, no. Can you also build... Ironclads, okay. Extensive military shipbuilding. Okay, there we are. That should help us out, um, get more ironclads out of there, and we'll be uh, happier that way. Are we going to start making 50,000 gold? How is that possible? Because we have a huge investment pool. Temporary national revenue. What controls this? Income... Uh, the British are crushing some claims on some people. Hmm. We really got ourselves into some debt <laughs> during this, this playthrough. We were about a total of 2.5 million in debt. Uh, that's bad. Um, hopefully, once we're done with these couple coal buildings, uh, we can start doubling our production of that. Uh, so people are a little less, um, you know, 
uh, we're a little less mad. Um, God, it's wild how much this keeps changing. It just keeps fluctuating up and down, up and down, up and down. It's a huge fluctuation. Thirty-four months. That's done, and then we can have better things. How is one supposed to fight these big nations? You just have to get a ton of troops? Is that like... That seems to be the idea is that you just have more troops than everybody else. You just have, Can you afford more troops? That's the only way that seems to be able to beat out these larger nations. Because conscript wise, we have a ton of con... We can have a ton of conscripts. We just don't have enough money to afford having them all, you know? But yeah, we're just as Waldo. We're having a good day, you know, just just kind of hanging out, eating some pho, having a good good stream so far. A little angry with uh, disgruntled, not angry, disgruntled with uh, not being able to take on these lands. Um, we can't do a diplomatic way on them. Can't make them puppets. We can't uh, return this land. We can't conquer the land. How mad would they be if we just took all this land? Probably somebody would be very, very unhappy with us. <laughs> very, very unhappy. Should increase productions with this. Um, our money has gone down a little bit because of our temporary uh, few things. Our subsidies. What are we subsidizing still? Let's look at our market real quick and see what are we subsidizing. Doesn't look like we're subsidizing anything really. Um, I don't see the. I wish it would say. Oh, railways. Right there. Kevin says it right there. Uh, okay, so if I go to development, and I say this, and I stop, s remove all subsidies. Publicly traded, okay. That's gonna increase our cash flow a little bit more. Maybe we'll get our debt down to just one million instead of two million. You know, that would, that would be great. Um, maybe we could find Waldo of our own. Um, Inactive Russian markets. Okay, let's stop doing that. I would love to leave the British to the custom union. It would be nice. Um, do the North, North, does the North German market want to join us? Probably not. They're in their own little war. Um, what about the U.S. market? Can I join them? Maybe. We just relied on the British for so long and we can't attack these guys really without that. Um, and if I made a play for any of this land, it would immediately be bad. How many... Diplomatically, they have so many allies. How is that possible? <laughs> We'd have to have like three times the kingdom. Like they have the Spanish, the Italians, and uh, the British, which is just insane if I was to take any of their lands. Like, where is that? Just take a county. Um, yeah, would face easily like ten, a thousand troops against us it wouldn't it wouldn't be good would not be a fun time to say the least hmm. all right let's see if we can go ahead and destroy 
some things or improve some things in our market values and stuff like that. Our ports are industrious. Um, that should change. The Panama Canal is not being subsidized because it doesn't matter right now. Um, what does this mean? Okay. Go ahead and export some more sugar to people. To the Americans, maybe. That's good. Making that cash. That's all that really matters. Um, let's see. We're making those bolt action guns. I would like to change this, but... Plastics help nobody. Hmm. Women in the workplace is about to be a thing. Um, seven days. Make that done. And then we can get suffrage voted for. Cool. I think we actually should switch to combustion engine. I know we were doing bolt action, but... Um, Bolt action is nice, but I think the combustion engine is going to give us a much more leg up if we try to attack some of these people. It's going to give us better... Uh, we can build uh, cars, which then gives us access to a bunch of other increased resources of other things. Like if we have this. Uh, Imagine you can't get nuclear just yet, right? That's a that would be insane. Probably. Uh, let's do rubber here. Making it making a decent amount, which is really exciting. Um, that's one show for it. Um, what did we want to do? We wanted to change. Uh, Women's rights. Property, women, no. Uh, pointed bureaucracy, that wasn't it. Separatage, census, this was what we wanted. Universal suffrage, people. Some people are really not going to be into this idea. Some people will really be into it. Let the people get some voting. Um, Catholic Church doesn't matter. Uh, the industrious people are mad. I um, wonder if we can offset their anger a little bit by doing this. If we increase their wages. Because right now, this, this. Okay. Um, the Austrians are fighting. Who is this? Sorry. What war is that? France, who are you fighting? You're in the midst of two conflicts, it looks like. East India Company is fighting somebody and you've been invited to it. Okay. That's what happens when you become a major power, I guess. You just get invited to all the conflicts and see if you, if you want to join or not. What is the regime change? Hmm. Could force Brazil to change the regime. That would be funny. The Argentinians won and they took that land. That's good. Um, all right, let's go ahead and say grant independence to the Chileans. Um, they're their own country. That's great. We have a truce with them for a little bit. Um, that's fine. Ugh, it's dumb. It's really dumb. I thought that we could just take over their lands and then get it that way, but unfortunately, that's not how that works. Um, next time. 
At least we learned something this this run that uh, you just don't. It just doesn't matter. You just get screwed. <laughs> uh, when it comes to making dominions and puppets, they don't do. You're not allowed to do much with them. Yeah, our economy is uh, it's doing great, but kind of unsure of what to be doing. I guess we should be increasing uh, whatever the, our local uh, expensive stuff is. It's rubber seems to be the biggest expense. So we could, should be investing in rubber. Um... There's a rubber here, yeah. Seems like that's the new resource everybody wants a ton of. Cool. Should do some stuff for us. Um, industries... Uh, maybe a university here just to get more stuff going. Thing is, this I like this game, but I feel like at times I'm kind of just like sitting here waiting for stuff to happen. Like I can't really be doing a lot of diplomatic plays. Oh, my Lanta. What is going on here? Um... Maybe we just help these guys out. Okay, so what's the issue? What's the what's the agreement that's happening here? Overviews. Annex Bolivia, radicalize Bolivia. Um, uh, let's go help the the people. Uh, we can align with them. We can lean towards helping them. Uh, maybe we go ahead and increase our troop count for now. Maybe wait just a second though, actually, until that happens. Um, can we add our are all our troops mobilized yet? No, they're. They're here, though. Um, maybe we use this as an opportunity to take some land from them. Uh, how do we go ahead and add our own diplomacy stuff? Can we not? Probably not. Go randomly help these Bolivians fight themselves. Maybe we'll just f help them white fight for a white piece so that I can then take over uh, whatever is left over. Bunch of people are leaning towards Bolivia. So I go to, okay. Let's see, Bliss, you say, you say in the diplomatic menu, go to annex the subject, open the diplomatic menu and select diplomatic play. Under diplomatic play, you can find annex subject play at the far left of the tab. Yeah, so if we go to this tab and we go to diplomatic menu and we go annex subject, uh, unfortunately, for some reason, we are unable to annex our subject. Uh, it's because we have a defensive pack. Start and annex. Columbia has a defensive pack with them. So if we didn't have a defensive pack with the British, let's say, let's say for now we cancel and our defensive pack. Sorry. Um, and then we go here, and we say, um, annex them. I don't know why the... 
Is it because we just don't have a... It's because we have a relationship with the British? Let's see. Okay. Let me do something real quick. Um, this is probably going to blow my game up for a second. But if we end our custom union with them... Is it because we're a subject? Maybe that's why we're having trouble with our annexations. If we end our custom union uh, with them... And we go, um, we are annex subject. Okay, so that's that was the issue. It's because we were under a subject union. Oh, uh, or custom union was not allowing us to do that, um, which is good and bad. Um, now we have a ton of expensive things that we need to probably import. Um, let's see if we can go get a trade agreement with these kids. They will not do it. Um, what about the Americans? It was our trade agreement that was causing all the trouble. Okay. That's that's problematic. Um, uh, let's go with a trade agreement with the U.S. See if we can um, change this. Steel in the Grand Columbia. Expensive. Alright. Now that we have a trade agreement with them, can we go and uh, import some things, some steel from the US, from the British, from the French. Um, that should fix that. Paper. Who's got paper to import? So that, yeah, bless you were right. It was me. I was wrong all along. It was the fact that I was not, um, I was in a custom union that was causing a lot of the stress, stressors. Um, get paper from the Americans. Some from the British. Um, coal. New imports. Americans. Uh, that should fix some of those tools. America. British. Um, thought we were. Yeah. Having some troubles now with our economy. <laughs> but that's to be expected. Let's uh, put this stuff on hold for now. Uh, pause all that and uh, did we mobilize any of our troops? I don't think we did. Yeah, there are usually reasons and they're clear in paradox. Mm. Well, your boy was acting foolish. Forming an alliance with the U.S. would be probably the best thing we could do, but maybe. Also, getting a an alliance with the British or a trade agreement with the British seems smart. Um, let's bring some of these wages down, actually, a little bit. We'll see how well this this fight goes. I have a feeling it's gonna go pretty well for us in the north over here. Um, well, isn't this a learning playthrough? Yeah, Michaela, you're right. But it's it sucks because I, I could have gotten this all done quicker, but instead I was just like goofing around. So now I can go ahead and annex these these boys when I have the opportunity. Um, unfortunately, it looks like probably a bunch of people will uh, have opinions about me doing that. <laughs> so, tough. Looks like the Bolivians are killing themselves really well. Wow. Uh, these guys are about to get absolutely stomped. 
uh, by their allies. Wow, they're just not doing well. Things are not going well for the real Bolivians. What is this the radical Bolivians doing? Like, what's their government type? <laughs> Should probably have done a little more research on the allies that we're trying to get in bed with. Um, military dictatorship versus a military dictatorship. So it's just two military dictatorships, um, which we can probably go ahead and annex, uh, make a puppet state out of them, maybe. That would be kind of sick. Um, let's see if we can get an alliance. Does anybody want an alliance? I know the Dutch have been saying they want an alliance for a while. Um, Germans are probably still not close to forming an alliance with us. Yeah, I think it's, you don't have the lands connected, so it will be harder. Uh, yeah. I think an alliance with the U.S. would also be nice. But it's because we're not a great power and the, just the base reluctance is tough. Um, looks like this fight is pretty much done. Uh, looks like nobody wants universal suffrage, so we're going to stop doing that. Let's uh, go and say... Um, maybe guaranteed this stuff. All right, Peru, Bolivia is back to being Peru, Bolivia, but they don't really have diplomatically, what's their relationship? None. So if I go ahead and say, um, oh, we're still fighting. Now we're fighting the Russians. <laughs> okay, this is dumb. The Russians are not gonna come and help us or fight us. There's no way. Uh, we're still short on what tools probably? No, actually dynamite. Um, import good shortage. Let's talk to the Americans. America. Just have America as a good ally for all your trade needs. That seems to be my current uh, solve for anything. We got a need? Ask the Americans. <laughs> We're short on something? Give it to the Americans. Um, Let's see if we can make our own customs union. Nicaragua would do it, maybe. Different governments. Our economy is way stronger than theirs. Um, Democracy in Peru, we could do that uh, by taking them over. <laughs> this is silly. Um, I'm gonna capitulate because I have no horse. Like, so what happens if I can immediately leave the war, all war girl targets are used will be enforced. Um, yeah, I'm gonna capitulate. I don't really want, need to be in this war anymore. Uh, but I can go ahead and make Argentina, my puppet. Um, some people would join. Uh, lots of power, great powers would not like that. Uh, but let's do it anyways. Let's see what happens. Um, uh, we can sway the Americans to our side. What do the Americans want? Erica, what do you want? be nice to get the Argentinians so that we don't have to and then we would go back to annexing the Chileans which should have just done in the first place my bad guys I messed up but now we can actually get things going cooking again they want independence that's fine okay let's go ahead and mobilize our troops um, is there a front that's the hard thing uh, what is our navy looking like right now? What is their navy looking like now, right now? They have four boats. Um, uh, 
<sighs> we have some ironclads. Uh, paint these boys. Uh, that's good. Equipment is adjusting. Let's see if we can build a bigger fleet. Um, and we can unpause this for now. Go ahead. Resume. Production. Ask treaty ports for America? Yeah, maybe. Um, let's see. Where are Ad Wargle? Uh, open markets? What does opening a market mean? Um, I don't know about that. What are the Wargles? War reparations? Holder, target United States. Right now, the US is supporting Argentina. That's not good. Uh, that's really not good. Unfortunately. Um, well, should have uh, probably got them swayed before uh, that happened, but let's see what happens. Um, especially because we don't have a land border with them. So this might be an interesting little situation. Uh, excuse me? Who is this woman? Otelia Forrest? What is going on here? The US has a women, woman president in 1890? What the? Excuse me? That's, uh, that's wild. All right, so we'll see how this war goes. Um, I have a feeling it's not gonna go well. Especially because the US is gonna bring their Navy in with their 97 fleet. Uh, and destroy our our relationship with them. So we might have to just lose uh, them as a uh, Argentina as a vassal. That's fine. Because there's no front to go to, per se, uh, unless we um, form an alliance with somebody. Uruguay want to be an ally of ours? If we call in Uruguay, then we will actually have a border. Which actually might fix this situation. Okay. Um, can we not call them in? We're allies, though. Um, because we were not allies prior to that. That's so strange. So Uruguay, do you wanna you wanna be our allies? Can you be called into this war? Probably not. Um, I guess let's go ahead and at least mobilize all of our troops. Um, I don't know how we're gonna assault them, but we'll try. Uh, also, what's going on here in in Cuba? Seems like the Cubans are having a little bit of a some rebellion. Cool, cool. We should probably just go to in, call independence. Like, let them back down, have their independence. Because Argentina gets their independence, that's fine. Um, um, because then they get independence. That's okay. We'll be able to attack them. Has Uruguay declared neutrality? Yeah, they did. Um, yeah. So that was, you know, a long tail way of uh, not doing that correctly at all. So we goofed up. But that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can form some sort of join customs union. No. 
Can we go back to having a trade agreement? Do we have a trade? No, we have a trade agreement. Okay, that's good. Um, that's fine. All of that's fine. Our boats are getting made. Um, why are we having all this economic woes all of a sudden? Probably just because we're building so much and we have uh, subsidies and munition plants. Uh, let's go to our market, our buildings, and then we go to urban, or we go to, yeah, urban. And then we stop this. Um. <laughs> Ciao, Jose. Que les vaya bien. Um, this is tough. We're in a tough position, I think. Because I want to make them a puppet and then do that, but I feel like the U.S. is going to do some wild stuff again. Let's go ahead and make them a puppet. See if we can get the U.S. to help us out. The U.S. says maybe. Would accept. Uh, let's go ahead and mobilize. Mobilize. Defend. Defend. No, no, you aren't leaving? Oh, better than Jose. It's a Um, it's goofy. Alright. Oh, he Hegemonia de la Gran... Yeah, well... Soon we'll get Peru back and then we'll be able to do something similar again. Um, let's get some more. Um, uh, let's get one or two more conscripts and then we should be able to beat Peru back down. Uh, we should also just pause our construction too. fix yeah that then we'll be able to fight this war pretty pretty easily hopefully nobody joins their sides um, seems like the Brazilians would be interested they would like the return of a state um, sure if you want that strategic region I don't really is there anything that's super good in this that I want? No, there's no development. I can I can bring you in if you'd like, uh, Bristol. Um, offer return of that. We'll see if they say. Uh, yeah, we can maybe afford to do that um right now let's go ahead and increase our um fertilizer from the united states who else um so let's see what we can export rubber um the british probably want some of this um yeah our rubber is getting probably helps us out right now yeah should increase a lot of our trade. All right, that's good. Now the those people will help us out. Um, why is this not doing so well? Mortality, urbanization. Um, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's look at our munitions places. Barely anybody's fighting because or coming here because of wages, probably. 
Yeah, we're producing all this oil that has no value yet because oil is not a huge commodity uh, in the game, which is annoying. Oh, they did it. They just, they decided to just do it. Um, can we annex, <laughs> do this? Can we run it back on Chile now? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, hmm. The U.S. doesn't mind if I make them a pup if I make Mexico a puppet. That's interesting. Well, good to know. Um, uh, how's this going? Are we passing this law? No, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, we should, though, um, Bliss, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that, uh, increasing of our, uh, munitions so that when we do have to fight somebody in the future, we'll have a couple more of those buildings done. Uh, we should also increase our production of tools. We have not been doing that. Um... Increase this uh, and increase this. Yeah. And then this should fix some of that stuff. Our construction goods are expensive as always, but that's our life. Try to smarten these kids up, getting them smartened up for all of their upcoming fights that they have to do. So how long until our truces are up with these people? We need more convoys now too. It's not one thing, it's another thing. It's tough. It's always tough. Um, what is this going to give us? Revolutionaries. Max home affair institutions. Standard of living increases. Okay. Free speech. All right. Cool, cool, cool. It's just going to increase just the likelihood of people's lives. Um, balance excluding temporary income expenses. Investment pool. What is investment pool? Is this just money that uh, investors are doing? Feels like we just randomly get investment pool sometimes and then it's great. I mean, it's kick it, it kicks butt, but it's wild that we just randomly are getting those resources. Has no, oh, uh, we have to go back to doing interest again because we, for some reason, haven't declared an interest in for this area. All right. Let's get our interest again. We'll run it back this time. We're not dumb. I swear. I swear we're not dumb. Um, we just didn't realize what we were doing before. Strong the British. The British are so strong. There's no way we're ever going to be able to take these lands. Who's top now? Who's top dog? France is top dog. But militarily, they're not top dog. At least our standard of living is way better. In general. Is that 14%? Um, All right. Bunch of people would do this. The Argentinians would do it. 
Blah, 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 blah. Let's see what happens this time. Chile has... Can we sway the Americans at all to not do that? To not help? really nice if the Americans wouldn't come. Also, aren't the Uruguayans our allies? Um, I thought they were our allies. No. Do we just not have a ally anymore? Interesting. Infamous American rank. Uh, yeah, they never want to be our friends ever again. Let's go ahead and improve, begin improving our relationship with the Americans, and maybe that will change it. I doubt it, though. Probably going to have a bad relationship with them, anyways. Let's go ahead and get some conscripts too. U.S. is joining their side. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm not too afraid of the U.S., but we can try and see how long. Maybe we could just do a white piece. I'd like to at least push them a little bit and see how hard it is uh, for them to defend. Let's look at the the border stuff. Just get to the part where we fight, because there's no point in escalation, de-escalation. We're, we're here to fight. They're cocky. The size of their gold reserve is what's giving them cockiness. That would make sense. Probably should have waited a year. Waited some time before we uh, just started fighting them. Uh, of course, construction stuff. Let's uh, go ahead and pause uh, construction for now. Let's see if that will offset some of our costs. It will a little bit, but our military goods is mostly what we're gonna get into a bunch of debt over. Maybe we can get them out of the war before uh, the Americans even show. Make them capitulate before that dampens. Yeah, that would make sense if they had the U.S. backing them, but it doesn't seem like the U.S. has arrived on these borders yet. It might be over here. Yeah. Guess I don't need all these troops right here defending this, but attacking this. 
But if we get the war goal, then this should be easy peasy. Italian infantry is here? What? No, that doesn't seem right. Plus, they're not fighting on our border. <laughs> That's the best part. We're not, we're not fighting uh, anything. Um, what did that just say? It said we could um, get some more. I think we can now do our uh, change our industries from this to this automotive, uh, which we have hopefully all the resources for. Um, there is a demand now. See, this should pop way back up. Fifth in the world. It should just be overwhelming fights. There's no, there should be no fight here. Uh, this is going to put us in severe amount of debt, but it's all right. Fifty-three defense, fifty-four offense. No, we're going to destroy you, my man. Hopefully, it just quickly destroys their their confidence in the situation. Good luck. Good luck, America fighting. Uh, I don't understand. This seems like an AI issue that they're not uh, defending the border that actually matters um, at all. Um, they don't want an agreement with us. This base reluctance really is killer. That 100 base reluctance, it really doesn't do much to save our, or help us out. It's just, like, why are you not defending the actual war goal? It's just another paradox issue of not defending the war goal at all. Um, how is this troop-wise? Uh, we're missing what resources? The, that, we're missing, we're missing a lot of things. Um, probably because we have a shortage of uh, tools and stuff. Let's see if we can go ahead and um, import some stuff from elsewhere, um, say like munitions from the British or like um, some uh, tools, I think probably tools. We'll need to import tools from uh, the French. That should fix some of the shortages. That I think that was the biggest shortage I was seeing, but yeah. Yeah, we're making pretty decent headway. They don't seem to be making that great of an advance there. Um, but that's fine. Who is this? What is this? Are they still fighting this war? Radical Bolivia is still fighting against uh, the Russians because the Russians... Oh, God, are the Russians going to just go into huge amounts of debt because they can't unmobilize their troops. Is that what's going to happen to their economy? Or is... N no. No way. Right? Either way, I'm going to be in a massive amount of debt. You'd think with 124 units on this border, we'd be able to absolutely destroy them every time. But 
the AI does not seem to fit to give us that opportunity. Like, why is this battle happening? There's should be a ton more of our guys. They only have 15 units. Explain this to me. We have 124 units here. They have 15 of the units, or half their units are con are uh, committed to this one fight. Why don't we just bring in more troops to like offset that? I don't understand the war system in this game. Does not make sense to me, but that's I guess not my place to learn understand. It's just to comply. All right. Should probably be able to capitulate them soon. Uh, their war exhaustion is, or their war stuff is high. Um, because they've taken 20,000 because of their population. Um, wow. Just took some lands. Um, looks like there's nobody on this border now. Oh, it's split. Yeah, we're going to capitulate them. Right? Or is it split into two borders? One is this, one is that. Hmm. Feels like the Peru Bolivians are holding their own against the Americans, which is very surprising. Maybe because they're on equal footing. How close are we? We're getting pretty close. They're... They're at 25%, um, which is good, because we're about to be in economic default soon, <laughs> which is uh, tough. How's the Panama investment turning out long-term? Uh, not worth it at all, <laughs> uh, that's for sure. A little Waldo, yeah, Justin. We're uh, it's Halloween. We gotta dress up for something. Um, and how's the Panama? Like I said, it's not turning out. We actually aren't investing in it at all. Um, for some reason, you have to constantly uh, subsidize it because its output isn't worth anything other than prestige and urbanization. So the wages are always low because there's no cash revenue. It's just a. It was. It's just a weird thing. Um, what just happened there? Uh, uh, I did not read that correctly. Okay, what did what did the U.S. just do? Uh, probably should have understood that before. That was an obligation to the U.S. We have a truce with them. We're our rivals. Um, yeah. Is it officially Halloween today? In the U.S., it's the 31st of uh, the month, so yeah. I never recovered my Belgium Suez game. Yeah, I think the canals are just a no-go until we figure out a better way to do them. Um, you know what's also a no-go is doing this to your economy. <laughs> just absolutely killing it uh, over this dumb war. Yes, I understand. Halloween's on Saturday? No, it's always the 31st. Some people are super radicalized by some things. Um, this war should be over. Just capitulate. The US is no longer in it. I'm in the... I, Tons of debt up until my eyeballs. Um, I 
I really hate the war mechanics. I'm starting to not like it more and more. Because, like, we have 153 units. Just, there's no way that we they'd be able to be holding us back. 18 units? There's no way. We'd just be storming across this border. Dile que era by Chile, I see. Yeah, that's true. We should have uh, done better there. All right. They should capitulate anytime now. I feel like we keep getting that rubber rush event. Um, let's go see if we can open a lot of those uh, agreements with the US again. A lot of our trade deficits that we were having. Are we missing engines? Oh, well, when we get money again, we can buy engines. <laughs> All right, this should capitulate them right now. Mm, this week. How much millions are we in debt? 3.89 million. This is the reason why you don't go to war, guys. Thank you. All right. Jimmy Christmas. <laughs> so much debt. Oh my. Oh, man. Okay. At least we're somewhat in the green again. Um, are they just spending all this money? Like... Path to socialism. Cloud is greater. Um, war is mud. We could do that one. That seems like a narrow front, and even the Spartans were able to keep Persia at bay. Yeah, only for like a week, and then they lost. I'm just gonna say, and that was also, they didn't have boats. I guess I could have navally invaded, I should have navally invaded Chile. That would have been uh, probably smart. Um, okay. We're getting 22k from Diplomatic. Peru, Bolivia is giving us a bunch of money. That's awesome. Oh, man. <sighs> Let's see if we unpause how bad this goes. Alright, we can still build stuff. Uh, with socialist ideas sweeping across grants, trade unions have a pro appointed a leader and voice government. Um, pass laws, new com communism government. No, um, protect labor rights, guarantee fair wages, um, enables laws and welfare, uh, protect the labor rights. Regulatory bodies. Let's do that one. Um, good. Is it a holiday in the U.S.? It's like a, you know, like not a, like a holiday holiday. Um, like nobody gets a day off, but it is, there will be children trick-or-treating around and trying to get candy from you for free. Those rascals, children they are. All right, there you go. Socialism, no. There's no socialism. We're fine. They just wanted rights for the worker. Um, which we can do probably by doing regulatory bodies and workers protected. All right, so we learned a lot um mostly what we've learned is we need to get the u.s on our side they're 
um, seem to be the one people we need to keep close and have a good relationship with. Um, that's fine. We can keep importing that. Um, we also need to get more uh, administrative buildings once again. Working as the British must be so easy. All you do is just, you make all the people trade with you and you get all the like resources you need. It's the best. That's insane. Um, being the British would be probably the best uh, start. Cause you just kind of like, everything's easy for you, I imagine. Um, what are we missing? Lead? What are you missing? Opium? Trains. So it's trades, opium, and lead. Argentina is muy blue para mi gusto. You like the color, Jose? Yeah, it's a nice. I fucked with that color. Um, can we? Once we have a truce with Peru, Bolivia, we can get rid of that, um, which would be great. Um, our authority is also like tough. Why is our authority so low? All of a sudden, nationalism, pan-nationalism. Oh, it's the popularity of our president. Ah, uh, I see. That's causing a lot. Muy azul, azul. Um, what else are we missing now? Trains. Lots of trains. Trains and explosives. Or engines. Um, military wise? Let's see. How long until we get machine guns? 34 months? <sighs> At least our economy is in a good shape. I'm gonna, we're gonna take a quick break because I need to rest my eyes for a second and then get some more water and then we'll be back uh, with all of that. What are you talking about, Jose? He's saying I don't know colors now? Okay. Let's keep it going. Uh, let's resume this. We have enough investment coming in. We need more bureaucracy. That's probably what we should invest in first so that our taxes are 
more efficient. We're not losing that on taxing these people because that's how we make money. The temporary ration, the temporary uh, investment stuff is weird. I don't really get that budgetary stuff. Hmm. Maybe it's time to incorporate other states and stuff like that. That might be smart to get all that. But uh, we'll see. All right. Um, are we short on things? We are. We're short on tons of things. It seems, seems to be opium, explosives, and steel. Steel. All right. America, can you get me some steel? No, Austria is the one who's going to give us steel, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. Antagonistic? Is it because we're rivals? Is that why the U.S. has declared us a rival? Uh, yeah, that's probably why. That's dumb. U.S., you want to stop making us rivals with you? Nicaragua doesn't want to do a customs union anymore with us. Too bad. I think Jose's lingua nativa is Spanish, yes. Um, now all that extra cash. Wow, that ca cash just keeps fluctuating up and down, up and down. Do the French want a uh, trade agreement with us? Who doesn't like the U.S.? Let's see that. Let's maybe find an, an ally amongst those people. You consider Italy a rival. Uh, maybe the Italians want to be friends. Or the Germans. I don't know, man. These these things aren't as... Uh, diplomatic plays aren't as cool as I thought they would be. Um, the British say no. Um, these guys don't say yes either. Let's see. Wait, do we not have a trade agreement with the United States? I thought we did. Attitude, okay. So then the next best thing is the British. Um, towards us is cautious. Um, let's, let's improve our relationship with both these idiots and then afterwards, maybe we can get an... Uh, an agreement with one of them. Oh, my. Communist Austria. Oof. Austria, you're having a bad go of it, aren't you? Communist Austria. Oh, my. Maybe we get an alliance with the these kids, too. Maybe. Who knows? Isn't it the Colombian banner with, uh, like, the armed forces on it? Um, okay. Now we're hemorrhaging money again. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and pause all that. 
it's not fixing the wages a little bit. Um, yeah, there we go. Sixteen. Yeah, let's just run the clock a little bit on our uh, our things, and then we'll maybe get a couple more. Run the clock on our cash flow. Fix some of our interest rate stuff. Um, that's gonna do that. Um, how's our resources on? We're probably lacking some stuff. It says unhealthy economy. Well, you're an unhealthy economy game. You ever thought of that? Uh, expensive things. Uh, let's see if we can import it. No. Do we produce paper here? Probably somewhere. Probably could go ahead and increase the... What's the issue with publicly trading things? I don't think it. there is one, to be honest, actually. Uh, realistic art, sure. A uh, bunch of those things and cash. Our cash is impeccable. Income tax is great. Consumption tax is great. Um, standard living has slipped a little bit, but that's okay. Um, we've radicalized radicalized a couple of people, but no need to worry about that. Um. How much longer until this agreement with the uh, these boys is over? 19, 1898 with uh, 1896. So that is over. Um, are you still fighting this war? Is this increasing cash every month? So is just, are they just in that much debt? Can I see the debt of their GDP is 54.1 million and mine is, what is my GDP? 18.5. So they're just, um, so the Russians are just hemorrhaging money on those con on a war that is never going to end. Why? 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 <laughs> so stupid. Uh, it's just dumb. Um, everybody enjoys ninety percent chance. Things smash up the wall. Sure. Uh, looks like we can no longer improve relationships with the Italians. They say no mas, no mas. Um, all right. Our infamy is pretty high. Another two months and we'll be very right, fine. Very cold in Finland. <laughs> Look at this cross-culturalization that's happening in my chat group right now. These kids are learning all about, all because I'm trying to take over <laughs> Grand Colombia. Um, if we puppeted them, It'd be also nice if the U.S. would stop rivaling us. I would... Don't really understand why they decided to do that. Um... 
we're just barely getting out of our economic woes from fighting the those guys so let's just wait uh now the british are having a revolt france do you want to be friends <laughs> like it seems like everybody's just having bad times when's the u.s gonna have their civil war that would be the perfect time to annex some people i think that's the best Eight Celsius? What is that in uh, Fahrenheit? It's 46 degrees? Damn. It's cold. Very cold. Um, all right. So we have a couple more years until this Peruvian situation ends. Um, it looks like the Russians are finally invading over here. I don't understand what this war is about and why it's continued, but it is. Um, uh, it looks like they're having a British liberal revolt. Uh, there's a communist revolt in Austria. Uh, the Russians are currently fighting somebody, and I'm just hoping that the U.S. comes to blows over something soon. It uh, looks like they actually are fighting somebody. America inside. What what's this for? Versus Morocco. Hmm. Let's see if we could potentially pick up some land from uh how much longer until this truce? Nineteen eighteen ninety seven. Okay. So we can't do that. Um how strong is this British versus the british uh i think we do take on some stuff from the british probably a good time to do it just go ahead and take out conquer some land a bunch of people would probably get on their side but let's see how bad this is going to go for us um Especially because they're in the middle of a civil war. Which seems to be going the way of... Let's see how this war is going. It's pretty equal. So probably a good time to get those lands out from underneath them. Liberals good. Socialism, no. <laughs> Jose. Jose out here with the hard-hitting political discourse. They say liberate Venezuela. That's fine. If you want to have those things happen, uh, let's see if we can sway anybody to our sides. The U.S. not interested. The French not interested either. Interestingly enough, um, doesn't the British have like? Don't you have rivals? Who are your rivals? Germans uh, considered a rivalry. Well, do they want to help in this war? I'll give you things. Um, they don't want anything, which is dumb. The French? The French have no interests. They don't want to. They don't want to help in this war, which is dumb.
Eight days until they get to the front. Cool. Um, all these people have negative relationships with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. Um, it's a good time, though. If we lose, we lose. You know, if we go down in hail glory, we go down in hail glory. I think that's that's what we want to do at this point because the British are having a civil war. Like, when when does that happen? They don't really get that. This is like perfect timing. And we can pick up two things at the price for one, which would be great. Then we would have to fight the French and all that stuff, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and maybe they'll just give it up for no reason. Uh, we're going for we're going for Guiana and we're going for this because those are actually the ones that uh, for the Falcons and those islands. Those are actually the strategic needs we need. Everything else is not in our strategic. They can have these the West Indies and all that stuff. That's not we don't care about the West Indies. It's not our deal. It's not our cut our grab. Um, the U.S. What are you doing, USA? Who are you fighting? The fact that they're losing to Morocco is tough. No more British colonialism. I agree. We're going to try to make it no more British colonialism, but we'll see. Uh, they want to liberate Venezuela. That's not going to happen. Uh, there's no Grand Colombia without Venezuela and Panama. So uh, have fun with that. We'll see if they back down. I have a sneaking suspicion they might back down, especially because they're about to lose. This Or they're losing this war. And a lot of their troops are dedicated to that, whereas there's only two forces here. Um, hopefully nobody else joins their army. Yeah, it seems like everybody else is not interested. All right, we'll see what happens. Our economy is fine, I guess. Um, we can also stop getting the rest of this done. Stop improving. All right. Our 69 troops versus two units should be enough, but who knows? This game consistently likes to do stupid stuff like, oh, we're fighting one unit versus their two units. They're only two units. Why don't we use all of our other forces to, you know, help in this attack? That would be good. Tomar las Malvinas de los Inglaterras. Yeah. Um, Argentinians tried to take the Malvinas once. Uh, it didn't go so hot for them, but we're doing it a different way. Also, the... Argentinians didn't have a uh, civil war. Well, now Scandinavia is having a communist civil war. Oh, my God. Civil war time, baby. At least our economy is not tanking. That's good. Um, hopefully. This, these battles are dumb. They only have two troops. Like, this seems... <sighs> I'm really not liking the war system in this game. Like, they only have two troops. Two battalions here. We have 69 battalions. Nice. Um, why are we not just flooding in, just absolutely destroying everything? Like, why is this even a battle? Where are the rest of... Where are 68 of our other troops? They don't even have a general here. That's how... It's ridiculous. Yeah. Guerra civil contra todos. I'm surprised the Russians haven't had a civil war. Even the... Jesus, there's a peasant? North New South Wales Welsh peasant revolt. I don't understand why, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And hopefully we can get a nice little chomp out of all these guys by doing this
land to their back. We could, I don't, our Navy's trash. I'm going to just say that. Um, let's see if we can recruit a general, um, this dude, and then go here and say, uh, navally invade them. We'll see how effective this goes. Uh, I've tried this before. The British have a decent fleet. Um, I don't know if they're tied up, too tied up at home to come fight it. That's the nice thing about Hoy that gives us an idea of where people's fleets are, but there's no understanding just yet. Oh, doesn't matter. We're crushing them now. Looks like, looks like our initial, yeah. We're going to make them capitulate this land at least. Fifty percent of their population is radicalized. Okay. So what's gonna happen now that we've taken this land? Is it just gonna like Are we gonna slowly get a ticking war score of like they own Yeah, I think we'll just get a ticking war score every seven days. It seems like that's what's going to happen. Um, we can try to navally invade uh, again down here. Let's see. Um, with Pedro, I think. A naval invasion and then should be good enough, I guess. Who knows? What luck, though, we got thankfully to make this happen we're like not paying that much money for this war we might pick up some land pretty easily hopefully hopefully this war just continues to go on like what is this because uh the enemy controls 50 percent of their war goal because they have thousand k casualties because 50 percent of their profit is radicalized um from exhaustion. Our exhaustion is not very high, is it? No. Our troops are... How soon until they would let us just... They are not interested. But maybe things will change in a bit. Once we take the Falcons or something like that. Vulcans. Is it, it's the Falcons, right? Not the... Um... South Atlantic Islands. Do you have to... Are they both one island? It looks like they are. What happens if we navally invaded Ireland or something like that? How lit would that be? <laughs> oh, that would be so crazy if we just navally invaded Ireland as Colombia. That's our, that's our big move there. Uh, I think we can resume these things. We have enough economy to deal deal with it. This is what I should have been doing all along. Falcon Islands, Las Malvinas, Falcons. Was I calling it the Falcons? Oh, we're fighting over here? Hello? There's a battle over here? What is this? Oh, okay. This is so confusing. Like, where are you guys? Uh, look, Naval South Atlantic Islands. Stand by. Okay. Well, I think we're just going to have to let this run its course until the British figure out what they're doing. Because um, it seems like they're not figuring out what they're doing. When is France going to have their little war? That's that's the next uh, That's the next thing. Uh, we're also having some issues with opium and stuff like that. Um, Russia, I guess we'll ask for them. 
we once again need more um, this in our capital. Um, probably could do more of that. Um, the fact that the U.S. just like straight up. Oh, we got Zeppelins now just by not researching. How did we get Zeppelins? That's crazy. What does that mean? What are we going to do with the Zeppelins? That's under society, right? Uh, airship posts for skyscraper production methods. Um, cool. I don't know how we unlocked that so quickly, but we did. Um, we're still working on machine guns. We'll have those soon. Um, looks like Argentina is in the midst of a, uh, own civil war. Tough. Did we take this? Do we occupy it? We did. Um, Can you enable invade the South Islands? South Islands? Pedro? South Islands is where we wanted you to navally invade, not the other place. I don't know um, why you didn't, why you did that, but you know. Nine reasons. They'll take it in nine reasons. Size of their loans? Oh, man. I can only imagine how much money they're, oh, the British. They're just probably hemorrhaging money. The British countryside is in an all revolt. Hmm. It's tough. Um, we do not accept this. Um, what is this? Uh, what is this saying? Um, We do not accept this peace deal. Grand conquers. No party agrees to this. Why don't I agree to this? Oh. Did we liberate these lands? Oh, no. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, shit. We did it. Okay, cool. We took those lands uh, somehow. <laughs> now we need to attack the Dutch for this land uh, and then the French, which uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. Oh, Lord. Uh, more, more administrative buildings is probably what's on the way. Let's see if we can take this state from the Dutch and then we won't have to worry about that anymore. Um, the Italians would show up. Um, why can't I attack this? Oh, because we have a cordial relationship with them. Let's go ahead and expel this, and then we can conquer their state and see, see what happens. So far, what I've experienced is that if you just be aggressive against these people they will just give in to your demands <laughs> be aggressive enough and nobody will stop you what level is my infamy at oof probably pretty high probably very high um no it's only 66 the austrians have much higher and the british republic has much higher do you want to be friends british republic Uh, they don't want to be friends. Let's see if we can do a um, trade agreement with the British. Um, maybe some paper, actually. Wait, what is the markets even looking like now? What is going on? 
Why is the British Republic hungry? New South Wales its own thing? I don't understand what at all is happening. Um, but that's fine. They've got all this support. A bunch of people aren't willing to support my claim, but that's fine, too. Uh, this is probably going to go bad for me. We have troops traveling to fight us. That's fine. Go ahead and mobilize these people. I don't know why the Americans are coming to. Oh, God. This is going to be a bad fight. Can we get one ally? It doesn't look like we can get one ally. The fact that the Americans and the Spanish are coming, uh, we probably should have just um, waited. I think we'll just back down for now. We can pay reparations. I'm fine with that. We'll pay reparations to the Dutch and let some of our infamy go down. Oh, uh, okay. I just don't understand why the British are so out of their lines. Insane. Um, we need more convoys. All right, let's go ahead and build more convoys then. What are they? English migration to Oman. Okay. I think, guys, we're getting pretty close to probably calling it for today. How long have we been jamming at this? We've been jamming probably... Um, about four hours and 19 minutes. That's a decent amount of time. We learned a lot uh, about the different uh, British Republic now being a thing. Took advantage of that. Um, I can't believe they fell apart like that. Are they like... What does their market even look like? The trade union fell apart, I think. Yeah. They have dominion over all this stuff, but Canada exists now. And that's something. Because we're rivals, okay. Um, it would be nice to get one ally. And I think for all intents and purposes, the best ally would be the the British Republic um, if they would have us. Uh, I don't think they're going to want to be allies with us, but, you know, a boy can dream. Uh, we don't have the influence for this. Okay. We can stop Stop improving with them. Stop improving with them. We did win over the Brits. It's somehow... It was the wildest thing. They capitulated, and now the British Empire is no longer a thing. Um, they, they're they just having their own weird... <laughs> very strange situation. How strong is Finland? Uh, it looks like they, they're not too bad. They're ranked 20th in the world. It could be better, but it could also be much worse. These kids don't want to do it. Belgium doesn't, wants to be an ally. Why did you even ask them to be like, okay, so can I even improve relationship with them? With that help out no we have a cordial relationship with them but they're not interested probably in doing anything with us oh 
Oh, we're so close. I can kind of taste it, but like we would have to trying to annex these guys would be hard because like who would join the French probably would join the United States would probably join the Argentinians, the Brazilians. Um, we need like one ally to, to really offset these stronger powers. And there's no real. No. Like the Spanish, would they wouldn't want to be allies. Everybody's like super anti antagonistic to me, but that's fine, I guess. Um, it's would be nice if the U.S. was stopping um, a little butt. Because if we try to annex them, we're not nearly strong enough. And also, we'd probably lose all the resources to that. Um, speaking of resources, all of our French stuff is inactive. Uh, that is a good question. Let's look at the achievement. Um, own all states in Grand Colombia strategic region and the Andes and La Plata. So let's look at the strategic regions. And technically we own almost all of them, but this one. So if we would have a better understanding if we say states, no, strategic regions. So we just need to take this one state from Argentina. Um, but right now, if we did anything wild, like annex them people would probably hate our guts let's see is la plata not one of our interests again god all right no it is we just have a oh we have a thing with them okay um what's the other way we can find out well at least we have machine guns now can kill our enemies more effectively. Um, let's see if we can change our military stuff now over to that. Trench, 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 trench. As long as we don't fight the US, that's like literally the only thing that's the, the biggest troubles for us. Because if we fight the US, then we have we're going to have a lot less fun. Um, all right. So we've upgraded all of our forces. Let's see how effective this is in, um, what are we short on? We're short on opium. Um, production, let's go to society, let's see if we can do, uh, let's see this, we're getting to the end of these, some of these, we're almost all the way complete, um, opium seems to be the only thing that we're really short on, the British market seems to be back online a little bit. Um, hmm. Maybe we can also afford to put our, um, this back on the Panama Canal so that we can actually afford some more prestige then we get more prestige then maybe people will love us more and we can uh, do more influential stuff like have an actual alliance
hey, no more female president for some reason. That was a weird time in the U.S. history when there was a woman president for about 10 minutes. Um, very strange. Can we stop having a rivalry with them? The French also don't want La... I think the biggest issues are we should have secured as an alliance with the U.S. as soon as possible. That would have been our best. As soon as we broke away from, uh, broke away from them, we should have been, you know, allied. But you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda at this point. Go ahead and just increase our troops count by a lot like 20 troops i want to see how if we can afford that or if that's just going to destroy our economy again and then maybe we'll f f annex these boys Yeah, finally our economy is kind of getting better. I don't know why, but it is taking its time. Sweet time for sure. I also need my infamy to come down a lot. Um... It's at 55. <laughs> now it's because we're building stuff. It'll be fine. The, the economy will get back back to normal. This is how this game works. You just you just lose a bunch of money and then a bunch of money gets back put. Oh God, what's going on here? Um, Paraguay is having a little attack of sorts. Um, our troops are going to be, I don't know. It's like the tough thing is our con economy is going to be not great. Um, but as soon as these all these get done should be fine who knows do i want to help in this paraguayan thing probably not how long is our war reparations too i also need a a spanish austrian war would be great if everybody got embroiled in that Danuba? Like if a bunch of people enjoyed that. Like if the French and the US joined that, got boiled all the way. But it does not look like that's happening. sucks that we're giving 12 how long is till we give up on those war reparations with the dutch because that's a decent amount of our economy going to the dutch who are useless um until our truce is up probably 
So three years. Can I wait three years to fight these people? Probably. We should do that. That's probably a smarter move, not to go in rushing into this just yet. It's happening in Russia. Uh, it looks like the British are fighting them. The British Republic is fighting them for... Uh... Cut the British Republic down to size, that's what it says, and more reps from them. Um, I don't know why the Russians are involved in this, but they are. Um, we are now a great power, though. That's good. So we should be able to get a an alliance with somebody, I would imagine. Um, this guy says no. U.S. probably is out because of our rivalry we are having with them. What about the French? They're probably not in the Dutch or the Dutch, not the Dutch. The um, Maybe the Austrians. They have a cordial relationship with us. Um, our infamous is level is notorious. So mostly it comes down to the fact that our infamy is so high. And also the, just the base reasons. That's tough. <laughs> James, yes, you did. What have I missed? Uh, we've done things. We've done things poorly. We've done things well. Uh, right now we have a puppet over Chile and Peru. Uh, we took some British lands away from them. Uh, the British have imploded and become the British Republic for some reason. The U.S. is being super antagonistic towards us. Um, none of the great powers really want to be our ally for some reason. Um, but we're growing our our army right now, so that's good, I guess. Uh, and then election just happened, and I wasn't paying attention. Who's, who's in charge now? A guy in the armed forces, and he is a brave explorer, supply request, open terrain. So he's a guy who he can fight people. Um, that's good. Uh, I want to annex this people, but the U.S. is being a thorn in my side. Uh, so I can't do that yet. Um, militarily or diplomatically, we're having troubles with uh, being notorious. Um, our infamy is pretty high. It's the fourth highest. Um, should should be decreasing sooner rather than later. Uh, we are also a major power, which is good. Of the major powers, is there any one of them that would join our, be an ally to us? Probably not. Which one has the best relationship with us, I guess? That's where we should look. They're cordial, but um, <laughs> destroy the world and South American cannibals. Yes, yes, that is us. We are South American cannibals. Uh, how much longer until this truce is up with these dumb Argentinians? We're getting pretty down, far down here in our. Uh, thing. Um, sure. We're getting far into our tech. Um, so much so that we are now could have submarines. Or when can we get tanks? Maybe we start working our way towards having tanks and all that. Um... To be honest, I just need one ally. Portugal, how strong are you guys? You probably is pretty strong. Nope. Spain. Spain would be a good ally, I think. But they're antagonistic to us. So is the French. The British are wary of us. But I think if we increase our relationships with them, we could eventually, potentially get an alliance.
Uh, it says what? Mutual multilateral alliances. We need to do multilateral alliances and has researched multilateral alliances. Oh, I see. I see what's happening there. Um, Scandinavia would almost become an ally. Let's see what their troops are looking like. How the Scandinavian forces? They're just line infantry. Hmm. <laughs> Ready for some war crimes? Maybe. Um, what's our armed forces at? We're at 54. God, the fact that the U.S. can just get a thousand troops is just insane. Um... Uh, the, they're neutral now. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we go for this push. Let's see how it's our vassals. So I have a feeling it's going to be bad. More mo rebel migrations. Poor. Yeah. The thing, this is what happens in EU4 for, for me, is that I would always get a little too rambunctious and then attack, attack, attack. Because um, now they're probably going to have... The U.S. has not declared that they surrender in fear. I would hope, but, you know... Only time will tell. Um, looks like the Argentinians will join them. That's fine. We have a much better army now, too. Let's see. Um, they have skirmishers, they have this, they have that. We have tons of other things that other people don't have. So we'll see if it, if it goes our way or not. <laughs> uh, let's mobilize all of our troops, um, so that they get... Where I feel like some of them aren't mobilized for some reason. Okay. Where is everybody, though? It says we have 54 only. Are they there, though? They're not all here. Hmm. Let us mobilize one more can some co activate some conscripts maybe calling for women's suffrage grant the is enacted um all right so let's see if we can do those women's suffrage things um uh what's this can stop um Next day until the chapter. Jesus. A lot of people don't want women to vote. Tough. Um, uh, we're going to be low expensive goods. America. Let's go ahead and start exporting some. Of, how much of our oil is actually? We have not been looking at our um, market stuff the fact that you can't annex a vassal is just an example of bad game design yeah blue europe i would have to say that is not my current favorite uh especially when it comes to it's it, it, it'd be one thing if you like could you, it would take a lot of bureaucracy or something or ca cash to do it over a long period of time like in eu4 you can you can annex a vassal but it takes a lot of diplo to get to that 
Um, but because they don't do it that way in this game is quite annoying. Um, we can start exporting some uh, oil, I think. People are going to be thirsty for it. The British markets, the French. That should give us some more cash flow. Um, also, our troops should shred these guys. I don't know where all the other troops are, though, but they are being um, mobilized, maybe? All right. Going to go into a bit of debt again. And then I think after we annex this guy, if, if this happens, we're just going to call today over and maybe... Uh, figure it out next time. Um, that's fine. Looks like there's some border disputes happening here, but to be honest, all that matters is this. You're right. That was dumb. They just, we get annexed them. <laughs> that's so dumb. That's so dumb. Um, let's see. What's our relationship with these guys? Do we have a truce with them until 1902 now? Um, when is our when can we annex these kids? 1891 eight. Um, strategic zones. We still need this little bit of strategic there, um, but everything else we own. How's our economy now? Are we pumping out a bunch of stuff? A lot of this is probably not incorporated, is it? We're going to have probably turmoil too. Um, let's go ahead and look at our uh, thing real quick. Our, uh, by thing, I mean uh, our incorporation screen. Um, doesn't show the budgets of each state. Probably La Paz and um, we see taxes. Um, infrastructure is hitting a whole timeline. There's a revolution on it and it's in the midst. What's the revolution for? Is it because they don't want me to be doing that? There's a revolution for what reasons? Okay. Revolution group is losing steam that's good um there is probably turmoil though gonna pop up here soon um we need more bureaucracy so let's go ahead and uh build more bureaucracy as we do as we are want to do more bureaucracy uh what are we low on explosives uh let's see if we can get couple more of that and then we'll call it there probably um let's see explosives import the british market sure uh what was the other thing we were on lead import uh the british market it's wild that we just just added this. Just all of this was added. I don't know. Feels strange. Um, we can also, I wonder if we bring down our taxes. Does that uh, help in the radicalization of things? Yes, I know we'll be losing money, but yes, it brings it down a little bit. Um, construction 
construction goods is killing us. Um, let's see if we can do anything else. Like um, consumption doesn't help. Oh no, we can. That's already rock bottom. Damn it. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna start hitting credits really hard. So let's go ahead and pause all construction. Um, that diplomatic stuff is still hurting me pretty badly. It's the main reason why we're having economic issues right now. Um, let's see if we can up export more fish. We got a lot of wood. We got a decent amount of, let's see if we can export some wood. The British have need for it. Fabric, um, tobacco, um, French markets, probably. All right. I think that's that. All right. I think, guys, that's where we're going to leave it today. We've uh, really, really went have it. Um, it was annoying that early on in the stream, we didn't realize that you had to be independent from the British to get these lands annexed. And it's annoying that I have to fight a whole war to annex some of these guys but that's kind of how uh, the cookie crumbles actually no just kidding we're probably going to try to annex these guys right before this is all over i'm going to just try to do one more annexation um the u.s says they're going to try to join that's great um let's see if we can begin to improve relations no the u.s is going to join no matter what probably why can't we just like have a peaceful annexation of their lands? They are a puppet state. Just have a just a peaceful one, you know, just very peaceful. <laughs> uh, let's mobilize it. Troops defend this front. Uh, I also think we have a better army now than the the Americans do. Let's see. Oh, the Americans are having some turmoil, too. And then mobilize these guys to the front. Let's see what the U.S. does. If they join, that sucks. If they don't, you know, it'd be better if they didn't. And they just chicken out. Nobody fights. And we just annex the land. That would be my favorite option. But uh, who knows what's going to happen. much better armed forces it feels like okay cool 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 now uh, we might actually go into war though spanish are still interested in fighting this but i don't think their hearts are in it what is our navy looking like it's better than theirs that's that's for sure oh actually fighting this war that's not what i expected but it is what it is uh stalwart defender and yeah um let us take our navy and do a naval invasion of los rios los rios with our boy uh, Ramon Lopez and then 
Ramon will do his job. Um, we should be kicking their butts. There's no reason why we shouldn't be winning these wars pretty or these battles e easily. We just have a better troops. We have trenched in entrenched troops too. We should be able to absolutely crush them. But you know, who knows? Um, what is this? Call has enacted Grant has elected campaign period. Okay. Women's suffrage is probably not gonna happen. Unfortunately, the 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 nation is not happy with me with all my decisions I've made so far. So uh I think if I got added suffrage, they would probably uh, have a hissy fit. The Cat I love how the Catholic Church is absolutely just gone. They're not even a party anymore. Um, we have zero legitimacy. That's probably bad. Um, let's kick the commies out. Um, sorry, communist party. Um, that should fix some of the legitimacy issues we've been having um how this this turmoil in these states they're kind of high but it's not so high that it matters are you not Navally invading? Oh, no, we have a second. Oh, nice. He did navally invade, and we just took all this land. Wow. Naval invasions are crazy because we just, just took all of this. All of the south is ours. <laughs> they have all their troops concentrated up north, and the AI is like, uh, we're engaged up here, and then we just naval invaded down here. So there's nothing stopping us from taking all this land. Like we took, uh, what city is this? Probably Concepcion super easily. We just rode into Concepcion and now we're about to take Santiago. The, they shouldn't, yeah, should be over for them. There's nobody on the border defending them at all. I guess that's the strat. You just... You uh, set up one border, can concentrate a lot of your forces there, and then navally invade the other areas because the AI is too dumb to understand what's going on. Like, why haven't they diverted some troops? Like, look at this. How many more territory? How much more territory? Yeah. Now all of our troops have... Yeah. That's tough. Um, they're moving to this, these fronts, right? How is their, how are they not in complete and utter, we destroyed their army, right? Their army's gone. Hmm. Seems silly. Soon, this war will be over, and then we'll probably call it for today. This uh, it's been a, another enlightening stream of how does this all work, uh, and turns out poorly, 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 poorly for everybody who isn't me. <laughs> this is a naval battle. No. Okay. We're so close. We're so close to capitulating Chile. And then we'll have this whole area under our control. And then next time we play, we'll actually probably get it, be able to do Grand Colombia, uh, the Grander Colombia. Um, took us two tries, because especially with the Dutch being the way that they are and the French set the way that they are, that's hard. At least we got over the British... Uh, 
challenge the hurdle that we were going to have to do with them. Lots of people are unhappy. What's the main reasoning? Probably uh, just approval ratings of everything. Quality of life probably is not great either. Who are the British fighting? Um, what is this? Cut the British down to size? Um, because the French are attacking them. That's wild. How strong are the French? Do they have any allies? They have one ally, the Brazilians. You have the Falcons? Yeah, we took those um pretty quickly, uh when we attacked the French or the British when they were having a, a civil a civil war. Uh, it was tough for them, you know. They did their best, but uh, we destroyed them. Okay. Capitulated. Nice. Now we have a very long Colombia. Let's see. Uh, we still don't have any of the strategic zones fully in controlled. Can we attack the Brit uh, Argentinians before this is over? I think our truce with them is up in 1902. So for today, I think that's good. I think we've done our best. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to follow if you're on Twitch, like and comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube, you know. Tell me how you feel about this in the comments when this uh, little stream goes out. Um, we might do a highlight reel for this one. We might not just because I feel like um, it wasn't that we didn't do that much. That was that crazy, I don't think. But maybe if I would compile this with another reel um, so that we can have a better understanding of the whole finished product. Piece. So I, I think I'm definitely wanting to finish this um this challenge probably sometime later this week we'll we'll actually make a grander columbia but yeah thank you so much for watching like i say as always 